My first guest tonight is a terrific actor. Uh, please welcome the lovely and adorable Alfred Molina. Everybody, Alfred Molina. I'm very well. Really? Very, well. very nice to be back. Very well, it's nice. very nice to have you back. What have you been up to? Little oh. bug. Oh, yeah, that's all right. I, I actually, it looks very cool. I throw it away, yeah. and then during the commercial break, I have to tidy it up. <laughs> you don't you'd have someone who goes back no, there. No, no, this isn't real television. I have to go out and actually do it myself. <laughs> do you, did you have a nice Father's Day? I had a very nice Father's Day. Yeah. Um, uh, my, my stepson sent me a very nice message, and uh, got, you know, it was lovely. I, I, didn't get, I didn't get a message from my daughter in England, because they, there isn't a Father's Day in England. Not a Father's Day at all? No, no. It's a, apparently it's a completely Hallmark made up thing. Do Hallmark advertise on CBS? <laughs> <laughs> if they do, I don't think that's true. And if they don't, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do you know what? They may have one now. But, yeah, yeah. They, they might do but, one. Uh, she's soon. not in the US. Yeah, no, I, I, the Mother's Day thing, there's a Mother's Day in, uh, in the UK, but it's a different, different day. Different day, that's right. Yeah, because my right. mother phoned me up and when it was Mother's Day there, but it wasn't Mother's Day Well, here. if you're really smart and you've got the air miles, you can get both of them. Ah, oh, no, yeah. I, I can't do that. No, you can't. Uh, no, I'm suggesting it for your mother. Yeah. Oh, your mother could. she could come over? Yeah, she could come over here, enjoy Mother's Day here, then fly back for her Mother's Day in, back home. <laughs> French! <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, oh, hello, I'm here for Other Mother's Day! <laughs> you know, she called me up when it was Mother's Day in Scotland, but not here, and she said, Oh, it's Mother's Day over here, but it's not over there, so I know it's all right that you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, It doesn't matter because I'm in so much pain anyway. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, so, do, yeah. do you go back and forward a lot? Then, I do, yeah, because I've got grandkids now. So, you know, I go Grandkids? Back, yeah, I, yeah, I've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old. Wow! Yeah, and, and the great thing about being a grandparent is that you suddenly discover that you... They, they, people talk about the special bond between grandparents and their grandchildren. Right. And, of course, the truth is you have a common enemy. Ah, yeah. So, you kind of bond against... A against pencil the pencil movement. That's right, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and now, of course, as soon as you sort of break the ice and mention that to other grandparents, you suddenly hear all these stories about... The way that grand... I heard a wonderful story the other day. A friend of mine told me that his grandfather used to give him, like, tons of pocket money. Like, I mean, he'd get maybe, like, a couple of dollars a week from his dad, but his, his granddad would give him, like, 50 bucks. <laughs> and he'd say, don't tell your father. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like this, and, and, and of course, and so the father would say, uh, "Hey, guess what, kids? Grandpa's coming around. They'll all be going crazy." Yeah, <laughs> he's like, oh, "It's so great. You love my dad so much. I'm so happy." <laughs> and it was just like, and they would just, and, and, and when Granddad would arrive, the grand grandkids would have to stand up to welcome him. And he told me that uh, they weren't looking at his face; they were just looking at where he kept his wallet. <laughs> Just waiting for the for the little brown wallet to come out, and you know. He, and That's, he, I think it's a good idea. Do you bribe your own grandchild? Well, I will do. Four. Yeah, I will yeah, do. I will. Yeah. I, I'm I, I'm completely determined to, to support. I mean, I wasn't allowed to do it with my own daughters. So I'll do right. it with my grandchildren. Yeah, no, it's it's difficult when I do it with my son. I find myself saying all the things that I thought I'd never say, like you know, well, we'll you know, not under my roof. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's seven, so you know, I got to be tough. <laughs> This isn't a hotel. Yeah, that's right. Not a hotel. Not under my roof. It's not going to be happening. So you and your pot-smoking yeah. buddies will have to go somewhere else. The one I, the, the one I remember was the, the, the great admonition from my parents. I remember was, was uh, what did your last one die of? Oh yeah, yeah. Because they they mean about your servant. Yeah, yeah, about yeah, about yeah, leaving yeah. the year. What did yeah, your last things one lying die around? Of? What did your last <laughs> servant die of? I didn't have a servant. I've lived here my whole life. You know I don't have a servant. <laughs> <laughs> no. When did you come over here? What age were you uh, over here? I was 40 when I came over to the States wow. the first time, yeah. yeah. Took, so you've been I, here, what, two years now? Thank you, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> You're very kind. I am. Uh, you, there's 50 bucks in it for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Granddad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and it was, but it, I'd, I'd, been, I'd been wanting to come over here since I was a teenager. I mean, I, when I was a teenager, I was completely obsessed with uh, American music, American Me too. clothes, I cars, you know, the yeah. whole thing. And, and I, 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 it was a, the, 
I feel now as if my whole life was just a process of saving up the money to get here. To get here, yeah. Were well, you <laughs> but it took me till I was 40. El Elvis was, yeah. a, was, a, was a big part of it yeah, for me as well. Yeah, I loved and Elvis. all Elvis, not just thin young Elvis, but fat older Elvis as yeah, well. Yeah. I, I, all of it, I like all of it. <laughs> So did a lot of people. Yeah, I right? know it's very popular. Yeah. But I, you know, but, but at school there was this bit. I, I was, I had, I was very kind of particular about the music I listened to, and it had to be. I was very interested, kind of like American music off on American labels, and the big sort of thing was looking for the original labels. You know, the right. imports like Atlantic and Chess and Stax and all those. Well, they don't have that yeah. anymore. The kids just don't load it on the I iPods. Know. They I don't know. even go to a store. Well, I've started doing that now. Yeah, well, me. Too. You've I've got become, an iPod. We, well, yeah, I've become a complete. I mean, I'm, I, I'm like, I'm, I've become such a cliche. Really? I, I'm sort of, you know, at 2 o'clock in the morning, I can't sleep, or if I've come back from work and I can't sleep, I, I'm, I'm in my front of my little laptop, and I'm, like, YouTubing, and I'm sort of like, you know... <laughs> and next thing I know, I'm, I'm, I've spent five hours watching someone, you know, sort of cut their own hair. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, so, and my, my first reaction is, why the hell am I watching this? This is the most ridiculous... <laughs> and then I'm into it two hours, I'm sort of going... <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally, I can't take my eyes off it's it. It's something about it, isn't it? With it you know, you get, I, my son loves the uh, animals behaving in an odd manner. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, <laughs> like, I love, you know, he's I love all, the, all these animals run like cats going, yeah. oh, hey, and all that. <laughs> yeah. And he laughs his ass off, and I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do, when he goes to bed, I keep watching it. I keep watching it. <laughs> it's but crazy. It, it, beca it, be, you know, it becomes, I mean, but, but there's some wonderful things about it as well. I mean, the, the wonderful things about YouTube is, uh, you know, when... I discovered, and I think I, I think I found out that you're a fan too. I'd, I'd been working with an, uh, an American actor who'd, who'd been raving about a guy called Foster Brooks. Oh yes, yeah, yeah who yeah, I'd yeah, never yeah, heard yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Back you know, in the day, yeah. and and, I, and so I, I, you know, went online and I, I checked, I YouTube, and up came all these fantastic clips of this guy. Who, he was, he used to do the drunk act. Yeah, and he was, was, and he was sorry, sorry. brilliant. I mean, absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah, very talented. But you know, but he never, he never came over to to Europe. No. You know, in his heyday, I mean, they, so, they don't do drunks. So over there. no, no. <laughs> They, would, no, they, they all come just... over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a wonderful thing too. But yeah. I, you know, but did you ever Google yourself? Did you ever go on the Google and you know find out what the folks are saying about you? Once or twice. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I, I I googled myself once and because uh, my daughter phoned me up and said, "Here, Dad, check out. There's, there's loads of stuff on you on Google. Check it out." So I kind of went thinking I'd, I was a bit above all this kind of thing. Yeah. And, I thought, and I punched in something and it was uh, it was a, a review. Uh, a sort of like an online review for something yeah. and it basically said you know Alfred Molina totally sucks <laughs> that guy reviewed me <laughs> it was my grandfather <laughs> he wanted the money back <laughs> yeah. And I and I and I sort of went. <laughs> no, you must. I used to do it. I used to do it years ago. And now, well, when I started the show, I used to do it a lot. And now I don't do it at all because that way madness lies. Yeah, Because yeah, I realised I was looking for people to say mean things about me. And then I was like, if people were saying nice things, I went, oh yeah, yeah, nice, 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 nice. <laughs> then get a mean one and go, how can I get them? <laughs> It's not right. We're completely out of time. Is there something we should mention? A, a project or a film or something? No. Nah. All right, then. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll be right back with Salmon Rusty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Great Detectives Club. Oh, hey, I know you. You're Paul McCartney. <laughs> You must be new here. Mm. No, I'm Jessica Fletcher. Oh, yes. The best-selling murder mystery author. Yes, I'm the most famous detective around here. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. That is I, Sherlock Holmes. I've never heard of you. Yes, well, I've heard of you. In every case, you always ask the same ridiculous question. You mean, has there been a murder? <laughs> Poppycock, everyone knows the only appropriate query is, is this a case of homicide? <laughs> well, that's just what I say, except you sounded more gay. <laughs> Fish posh, I'm very manly. Chip chip. <laughs> Whatever that means. Chip chip. That's what they gave me, is no, all I've got. Chip chip is fine. That's fine. Not gay at all, chip chip. Uh, all right, anyway, Holmes, if that's your real name, mm. I can out so. <laughs> In a murder case any time, Sherlock Holmes. 
You're on, Mrs. Fletcher. <coughs> oh, what's that sound? Has there been a murder? <laughs> no, you nincompoop. The gentleman was just clearing his throat. Oh, my, he's down. Oh. Is this a case of homicide? Oh, no, 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 no. Has there been a murder? No. No one has been murdered. This isn't a case of homicide. I was just picking up a napkin. You know, I'm beginning to think that the two of you don't belong in the Great Detectives Club. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. That's the smallest part I've ever seen. Yes! <laughs> I don't think you have to be in the union for this one. <laughs> good, good God, Mrs. Fletcher. Yes? My brandy glass is empty. <gasps> May I have another one? Yes, yes, me too. But, uh, what about him? Oh, by all means, get in one as well. Yes, yes, he'll fancy a drink after he wakes up from his nap. Nap? Yes. Can't you see he's dead? 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 Oh, my. my. This is a case of homicide. 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 Let's look at the murder. Homicide. Let's look at the clues. Okay. Is that you touching me? Or no? Yes. He's bald. Yes, he is bald. He, he's in a chair. Mm, it's Thursday. I just farted. <laughs> Did it. Damn, you got me. Oh. Yeah. I'll just have your assistant Watson uh, arrest me. All right, take the gun with you. You got it. <laughs> well, I hope you've learned something today, Mrs. Fletcher. On the contrary, I think I was the one teaching you, Sherlock. <laughs> You don't know where that's been, do you? You don't know where that's been? Are you as turned on as I am I'm right more, now? I think more! <laughs> Let's go to the cloakroom and make out. Certainly. <laughs> Please welcome Alfred Molina, everybody. Uh, I'm going to take that 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 photograph you showed of the uh, of the uh, the governor from Illinois. Yeah, yeah. Can you put it? Can you hair. can you put it up again? Yeah, I think we probably can. Yeah, do don't you think? He, don't you think he looks like Dan Aykroyd in Coneheads, but with a wig on? <laughs> he but does. He... And isn't Dan Aykroyd from Chicago? No, he's not. He's from Toronto. <laughs> But it ends in but all. When you when you put that up earlier on, I saw when you know, I did a, I did a triple take. Do you watch? Well, oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do they teach you that in the Porsche acting school? They do. They yeah, do. Yeah. yeah. We we spent days on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Days on the triple take. Did you go yeah. to a posh acting I did school? go to a posh drama school, yes. Yeah, I went to the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. And was or that... as it was known, the Guildhall School of Screech and Trauma. <laughs> <laughs> what was, did you yeah. do? Did you do lots of acting exercises, pretending lots, to be an animal and yeah, stuff? Pretend, yeah, we, we, we had to go to the zoo and pick an animal and study that animal for weeks on end and come they in. They do a lot of that, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah, complete, yeah, complete waste of time. It is. At what point? <laughs> I've, never, I've never walked into an audition or an interview for a film or a piece of theatre when someone has said, so tell me about your animal. <laughs> no one's ever done it. You know. <laughs> Could we see your kangaroo? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I worked on a rat, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I've been doing a rat for years. Yeah. No, that's now. Tell me about the, the new film, Nothing Like the Holidays. Nothing Street. Like the Holidays. Right. Yeah, it's a very, it's a lovely kind of warm family drama about uh, a Puerto Rican family in um, You're in not Chicago. Puerto Rican, are you? No, well, it's another ethnicity to offend. Oh right, I see. You know, I mean, you know, uh, everyone got. You play upset. a Puerto Rican. In the I movie. play a Puerto Rican, yeah, and right. it's uh, it's a wonderful cast. It's a really lovely. It's it's you know, it's, it's but it's not about a Puerto Rican family as such. It's really about an American family. It's right. very universal kind of thing. Do you, are you uh, a very Christmassy person? Will you I am a Christmassy what person. What will you do, yeah. for example, maybe the day after Christmas? I'll... <laughs> 
I'll be here with you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm here. <laughs> um, I'll bring uh, I'll bring some leftover eggnog. Oh, that's very. Do you know, nice. I, I, you know, I only found out. I had a very wonderful conversation with my wife the other day. She, she, she you we... still talk to your wife? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. How long have you been married? I can't remember. Wow. But I think it's my wife. I took. Yeah, well, she, yeah. she's, she's in my house. She so lives in the house. Yeah. yeah. That nice lady. Yeah. She, yeah. You know, she could be the maid. I don't know. I really Ooh, don't no. know. But she said to me the other day, you know, we, we buy, she buys bottles of eggnog from, from the supermarket. Right. And she said, I've just found out there's no alcohol in this. And I said, <laughs> I said, yeah, that's why it's in the dairy department. <laughs> yeah, there's no said, alcohol yeah, in so there. Yeah, so for years she was drinking it saying, oh, this is lovely. <laughs> And acting all drunk, you know. Yeah, yeah, oh, all gonna, oh, yeah, yeah. I love it. Doing no all sorts of naughty things. Yeah. yeah. I thought I, I knew you were a cheap date, but there is no <laughs> alcohol in this. But I thought egg eggnog does have alcohol in it well, normally, though. Real eggnog in real Holland, eggnog. where they make you know eggnog. Hol Holland. In Holland, I think that's where it comes from. Well, I think you made it, that up. Yeah, but it sounds yeah. good. You just you. you it's came more than what you came up with. <laughs> <laughs> you came out here and you come. Blatantly I, made up the origins of eggnog. Unlike, un, you've set some very high standards for veracity in this show, I know. <laughs> but uh, I've just, I've totally subverted them. You have! <laughs> so eggnog is from Holland. I, th I, I, I didn't even think, think so. they have chickens in Holland. Well, no, but, it, but it's. No. <laughs> It's either it's it's Belgian or Dutch or something like Belgium that. Belgium and Holland, you know, very different. One of those low countries. Well, no, you know. Holland, Holland's flat. Yeah. Flat like Oklahoma. Yeah. Belgium is kind of like the Canada of France. <laughs> <laughs> it's to the north. And no, wait, wait, but no, but I, I think yes, real eggnog is uh, is alcoholic. You know what I'm thinking of? Yes. I suddenly realised the, the Dutch thing is a thing called advocate. Advocate. Do you remember that? I have heard of because grown up in Britain. And it's a bit like eggnog, but it's got a touch of brandy in it or something yeah, like yeah. that, you know. Yeah, something bad for your teeth. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. how long have you lived in these United States? I've been now? living here for 15 years. Really? Yes. And do you, do you, your family are all here now for Christmas then? They're, they're, they're coming over. My daughter's coming over with our grandkids. and uh, You have grandchildren? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're yeah. doing well. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you. You're applauding me as if I'm responsible. Yeah. And I want to I wanna really emphasise I'm not. You know. Well, in a way, perhaps the eggnog is responsible. <laughs> yeah, but not the non-alcoholic eggnog. Not no. No, do, no do, but they're, they're five and two and a half. They're coming out. It's their first trip over to the States. I'm really, really... You know, we, we've, I actually had the most extraordinary conversation at home. My wife actually woke up one morning and said, do you think we've got enough Christmas trees? You know, and you can't you and you can't sort of pull you can't put the reins on decorating the house because it's for the kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, that you, you have one Christmas tree. No, we it? have four. How could, you, how could you, you, you Hollywood bastard? <laughs> you have four Christmas trees. Well, you know, well, last I'm not kidding. Last year we had eleven. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't, don't run away with the idea they're all six-foot trees. There's one big tree in the house, of right. course. Right. And then, then the, the, the pathway from the, front, from the front gate to the front door, we have these little trees that line the path. Oh, right. So you just then, basically... You, know, you, you, you kind of, like, take down a rainforest basically, for your no, own. No, no. I'm very happy to say they're all fake trees. Oh, they're fake trees. We've, oh, that's we, very we nice. Haven't, we haven't used real trees since, or for years and years and years. Well, that's, I mean, yeah. it's, it's so great. At the, end, at the end of Christmas, you know, the day that I'm here with you, the day after Christmas... The day after Christmas, yeah. My family will be hard at work packing all these things. Do, no, do you put it away I quickly? take Boxing Day very seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off. Here are the boxes. <laughs> get, 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 get the stuff in it. <laughs> do you take your stuff down right away? Do you take it down right... Because a lot of people... No, 12, in, days, the, the, the 12 days after Christmas it comes down. What? I think it's like halfway, halfway through the first week of January. Well, you see people in Hollywood, they've got Christmas decorations up. It's July. Well, the, you know those lights around the trees along Rodeo, Rodeo Drive? They're I know the ones year. on Hollywood Boulevard. I don't yeah, know the ones yeah. Oh, yeah, near the Sahara. I yeah, know. I know. <laughs> They're up all year. I, I don't know the Sahara. Oh, the Sahara and the motel. Really? Oh, it's a bags of fun. <laughs> That's Sunset Boulevard. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hollywood right. Boulevard's a completely different Cont thing. Much, yeah, much, much more up yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, you will, will you, what you will you do Christmas Day? Will you all have lunch together? Yeah, there's going to be... Yeah, do you be, cook lunch? I'll, I won't be cooking Christmas lunch, no. Right. But we're not... We're going... We're, we're not doing anything traditional this year. We're going to have... Uh, we're going to have some beef and some lamb. No turkey.
Well, that's... We, had, we had a disastrous turkey at Thanksgiving. No, you have Thanksgiving then. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, like, I love Thanksgiving. It's, 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 it's a great like, holiday, isn't it's it? It's the holiday that I've completely sort of taken to, absolutely. Even yeah. though you're a filthy foreigner? Even though I'm still... a filthy foreigner, yeah, I, 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 still, I still, you know, because there are no presents involved, you don't have to buy anything for anybody. That's true, You actually, know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's full of, you know, But I'm not it's, good it's with turkey. Did you, did you, do you enjoy the turkey? I, I'm, I'm bored with turkey. Yeah, I'm bored with turkey the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm not, no turkey this year. But no. I noticed you, you, you had a, um, if I can mention it, you what? had that rather, that rather salacious red ostrich feather the other day. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, it's around yeah. somewhere, yeah. yeah. Yeah, have you ever met an ostrich before? Uh, yes, I have. I have, have you really? An ostrich I... like this? No. <laughs> Have you ever met an ostrich this fabulous? <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. Where did I've, you meet an ostrich? Then? Well, I've, I've just wrapped on a film where I had to. Wrapped on a film? Yeah. Oh, you've just finished making yeah, a film. Yeah, just finished making yeah, a film. Yeah, some of us yes. don't live in Hollywood and have got to live in Christmas <laughs> trees. <laughs> right. But you, but you want to, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you do. want to. Yeah. No, I, I, I just wrapped on a movie where I had to kiss an ostrich. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah. I had to kiss an ostrich, and they're, they're very and they're they're very responsive. I discovered. <laughs> we had a we had a lady on the movie who was who was the kind of the ostrich wrangler. Yeah, she was looking, at, and I noticed she had these big thick gloves on. Right, and she kept the the ostrich had a kind of hood on its face, you know, to right. cover, so because if it can't see anything, it doesn't get freaked out. Right, and I'm like that. In, <laughs> in in the movie, I had to take the hood off the ostrich and then have some dialogue with the ostrich. And I noticed that in between takes, she was caressing the ostrich's neck very gently. Hello. It, 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 well, yeah. it was a little bit... Yeah. There, there was a touch of the thing. Yeah. So I thought, well, I'll do the same thing. Because right. it, obviously, it obviously seems to be working. To the ostrich. To the ostrich. Right, so I'm right. stroking the ostrich's neck while right. I'm doing the dialogue. Right. And uh, as, he, as the little chunk of dialogue ends, the director's shouting out, do it again, Fred, do it again, get closer. So I get a bit closer, and I'm talking to the ostrich, and I'm straight, get it again, closer! So I got really, really close. I don't know what came over me, Craig. I don't know what possessed me. <laughs> I was in the moment. You know, I'm one of those actors. You're one of those you know? actors. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you. And the, the dialogue was something like, look at this, my beauty, my, you know, this, the only one I've got. You know, I was, I was being very sort of, you know, not romantic, but kind of eulogising this ostrich. Please be near an ostrich. Yes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so I got really, really close. So then I just leant forward and I kissed the ostrich on the neck. Oh my lord! And this ostrich did the most perfect thing. It did a. It actually did a double take. Really? It actually went. <laughs> I'm sorry. I swear. That's fantastic. It was brilliant. Will you uh, uh, just? Will you see the ostrich again? <laughs> the thing is, we we named the ostrich Anita. All right. But then I found out that Anita was actually Alan. Hello. So I think I can claim to be the first actor to actually commit an interspecies gay kiss on cinematic history. Congratulations! Thank you very much. Alfred Molina, everybody! <laughs> we'll be right back! And we're gonna, we're gonna look at the world of sport from the perspective of our friends across the pond. It's time for another segment of ESPN UK, everybody! ESPN UK! So Cecil Wellesley Hogg. And I'm Dirk Weems, England's bad boy of soccer. I've had more women than Ellen and Rosie combined. Booyah! <laughs> this week in American sports, the Pittsburgh Steelers won the 43rd Super Bowl. Oh, I hate American football. They wear so much padding. I never wear any protection on or off the field. Aha! Uh -huh. I hate the Steelers. I hate you. Oh, I hate everything. <laughs> oh, Dirk, just relax. Yeah. Good idea. Speaking of relaxing, when you're feeling uptight, why not give Weems stress balls a squeeze? <laughs> it might come back. Uh, yes. They, they do that, too. They, uh... <laughs> it always comes back, and... See, what you do is you squeeze my balls at home or squeeze my balls at work. You could even squeeze my balls with your friends. <laughs> That dog, give this to me. You touch my balls again, and I don't know. Dog, I'm tired of your outburst. Oh! That's why today's guest is an anger management therapist. What? Please welcome Dr. Monty. Oh, right. 
Thank you, Sir Cecil, but you forgot to mention my new book, Keeping Your Cool While on TV. <laughs> 9.95 while supplies last. <laughs> Glad you're here, Dr. Monty, because Dirk's anger is getting worse. Last week, he assaulted someone at the supermarket. Hey, the sign said eight items or less, and that idiot clearly had nine items. So I ran her over with my shopping cart. That little old lady never knew what hit her. Ah -ha. Well, that exact, that exact situation is covered in my other book, Keeping Your Cool in the Supermarket. <laughs> Which is also on tape for people like Dirk who are illiterate. Look, it even says for idiots. <laughs> Dr. Monty, I'm not sure Doug knows how to operate a tape player. He's a total Cretan. Yeah, that's just where you're wrong. I've never even been to Crete. <laughs> Let's try an exercise. Why don't you take um, your aggression uh, for Cecil out on this, um, on this pillow? Oh, all right, then. <clears throat> oh, 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 yeah! Oh, oh, die, you oh, four oh, right, son of a bitch! Oh, no. Yeah, it's really healthy! No, 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 no like that, Dirk, like this. Oh, right, all right, then. <laughs> take that, take that! No, 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 stop, 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 stop. I know exactly what you need. Oh, another one of your lame-ass books, I no, suppose. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't be silly. What you need is a copy of Keeping Your Cool While Trying to Kill Someone by my wife, Dr. Cindy. <laughs> oh, I know Dr. Cindy. I've thumbed through Dr. Cindy's back pages, if you know what I mean. And if you don't know what I mean, what I mean is I sagged her. <laughs> hey, how come I didn't get a ding sound? Because you're lying. Oh, am I? Then how come I've got your wife's panties? Aha! 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 Those aren't my wife's. Oh, uh, uh, those are my wife's. Oh, <laughs> sorry, wrong pocket. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there you are. Aha! Good God! Those aren't my wife's. Yes. The woman I love has betrayed me. My marriage is a sham. There's only one way to put my life together. With my book, Keeping Your Cool While Your Wife Is Shagging a Diseased Ape. Yeah. I'm not sure reading a book will help you, Monty. No, oh, I'm not going to. I don't want him to read it. I'm going to beat this bastard senseless with it. Hey, I heard you bastard. Come on, then. Come on. Oh, That's all the time we have. Yeah. Join us next week when we'll meet one of the most glamorous women in sport, David Beckham. Oh, I love her. Please welcome, straight from a sketch, Alfred Molina, everybody! Hello, dear. Hello, dear. How are you, dear? All oh, right. I'm, I'm lovely, dear. Thanks very well, much. Very yeah. nice to see you. You're looking a bit goatee-ish, if you well, don't mind. Goatee, you like it? You yeah, like I it? Yeah. Like I, it. This is this is a leftover from uh, the last job, and uh, it's. Uh, it, <laughs> I've just thrown it on. Um, and uh, you know, the, the, the film I'm doing at the moment, they yeah. liked it because I had the beard for Pink Panther. Right. You Did know, you shoot the Pink Panther in We in shot France? in Paris, yeah. We shot uh, three weeks in Paris. How was that? Love the French. Do you really? Love the no, French. No, you don't. No, You're I English. You don't like the French. <laughs> But you know, I was saying it's really odd. If you get if you get a bunch of Brits together, yes. say over dinner, right. it's only a matter of time before they start before someone starts doing a silly kind of French talking accent. Talking like this, everybody starts talking like this. I uh, know, I don't understand. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy to me too. And then, but the worst thing is is when you when you're in Paris and you start doing it to the French. Oh, they, <laughs> they love that oh. so much. I'm, they... wa I'm wondering if I, I, I'm wondering if, if French people sit around dinner tables and are saying are things, are saying things like "Qu'est-ce que c'est the London Times." <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Do you know what I went to uh, Tijuana once, don't ask, with a friend not, of mine. Is that in Paris? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's near <laughs> Paris. And I went to Tijuana with my friend who, he could speak Spanish, but he, uh, actually he was in a sketch with us earlier on. Oh yeah? Yeah, him. Uh -huh. you know, he could speak Spanish, but he learned Spanish, his name's Philip, he learned Spanish in Spain. Right, so he speaks Castilian Spanish. Oh, with a third, 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 No, it was. I mean, it was great fun in France. I mean, the food was fantastic. It's and, great. Yeah, there's, there's France, lots isn't, of, it? Yeah. Uh, isn't your wife French? No, 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 no. no, I, no. That's right. She I dresses that. up French sometimes. Oh, does she? Yeah. Really? yeah, that's, that's nice. Uh, but you know, did I say that out loud? 
Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Do you take the whole family when you? No, 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 no. We, I just went. I just went to. I was only there for like two and a half weeks. Did so. you stay in a hotel? We stayed in a very nice little hotel. Don't ask me the name of it. I can't remember. All right. But I had a fantastic view. I was on the top floor. Right. And I had this great view of the Eiffel Tower from my room. It was Many so places in Paris do have it was that. Yeah, because it's not. <laughs> Well, it's, it's a way. It's, it's like but I all... felt special, okay? Well, yeah, I felt special. I every, every reason to. You know, I thought they did it just for moi. <laughs> Oh, you pick some of it up then. But you know, it's, a lot of people do that. You know, it's it's a way of trying to make you sound, make yourself sound a bit more educated. If you sort of throw in the odd, little throw in the odd kind of French phrase, you know. Well, I, I do that sometimes, but I find what helps is if you throw in an occasional uh, Russian or Tibetan phrase. Ooh, now you see that would be very. I'd be very impressed by that. Well, it's great because Grabishnik. Grabishnik. <laughs> I just made it up, but everyone goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Russian people are like, that doesn't a, even Russian yeah. make sense talk, to talk me. About, talk about making it up. I had a mate who told me this story. He, he went for an audition for an Italian role. Now, he's not Italian. He looks very dark. He could play Italian, but he's not Italian. He doesn't speak a word. Right. And the director said he had to have actors who spoke Italian. So he turned up, and at, and at some point at the interview, the director said, so, you speak Italian? And he said, yeah. Say something. And he started doing this. <laughs> and he got the job. Of course! That's Italian! He got the job. <laughs> I, I, find, I find the best thing to do when you go to a country is, if you can't speak their language, imitate what they sound like speaking English, and they understand you perfectly. <laughs> so if you go to Italy, you go, Hey, what's the coming to go, everybody? Everybody's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody hates you at all if you do that. <laughs> it's lovely. Now, have you been back to Britain much recently? No, no, I brought all the family over here for oh, Christmas. Oh, yeah, and, and are yeah. they still here? No, 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 they, no, I got rid of them after yes. two weeks. Had to no, go. We, it, was, it was great. I mean, you know, the grandkids and everything, it was great fun. But, like, I've forgotten how noisy and how busy and energetic grandkids are. Oh, I went, we, went, we went for a drive. Um, I'll t I've got to say this. We went for a drive through... My, my daughter wanted to see all the nice houses in Bel Air. Right. And so we went for a drive, and we saw this fantastic house with this beautiful wall around two sides, all covered in bougainvillea. And my, my, my daughter said, wow, Dad, that's a beautiful, beautiful built, you know, beautiful property. And then about two minutes later, from the back of the car, my grandson says... What age is he? He's five. OK. And I quote, Mummy, I didn't say it out loud, but my face was saying, look at that wall. <laughs> Do you know, just when you said that, your mouth went a bit funny, and, it, <laughs> and there was a kind of bee sound, oh, so I kind of yeah. missed it. Yeah, no, they do. It's that, a great yeah. story. Yeah, great no, story. it's a great story. Yeah, and my daughter, only, and my daughter, if you could tell it on television. <laughs> 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 ah, never mind. The mark. Oh, it was great. No, so I, had a, I had a lovely, lovely time with them. So it yeah. was, uh, but it was, I know they've gone back. They've gone back now. Have you yeah. got empty nest syndrome? A little bit. The first yeah. day, it was weird, weird, weird. It was odd. I, I, I wasn't expecting that. Well, what do you do? Do you potter around in your garden, maybe, you know, uh, trimming your plants? No, no, my wife does that. My, my wife's the gardener. Well, what do you yeah. do then? I you sit, just sit around not I, trimming I, them? No, I sit around with the latest box set of whatever I've got on my lap. Oh, what, chocolates or DVDs? Mm. DVDs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like a nice box of chocolates. Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I do. I love that. Love you, a box you, of you chocolates. Like if you're looking for a gift idea for okay, me, okay, that's it. That's very, yeah. Yeah. that's very say, French. You what, know. What shall we get, Craig? Get him a, a bois du chocolat. Yeah. Mais oui, mais oui. Uh, oh, sans lait or oh, sans uh, sans lait or oh, avec lait. Kranzinski. Ah. Happy uh. Berlin, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, no, I'll you, I'll you. Hello, Alfred. 
Fred Molina, how oh, are you, dear? I'm very well, I'm very well. Can, can, uh, can, I say, can I just say congratulations on your wonderful news? That's Thank fantastic. you very much indeed, yeah. I'm Good to know it all works. Yes, it? yeah, well... It's, not, it's a relief. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> even, if it, even if it didn't work, I'm, I'm certainly happy with, you know, just running it through the motions just in case. <laughs> that said, well, congratulations at your age. I'm 48 years old. Is that oh, too no, old? No, no, of course not. Of course it's not too old. Not yeah. too what old What age are kids? My, uh, well, I was, I was young when I had my, my daughter. was I was 27 when my daughter was born. Oh. So I was... Uh, Does that but, mean you're better than me? No. <laughs> no. It just means it, it happened a lot faster. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I had that problem too, but... <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine you having that no, problem. No, no, I right? did. I, I had to, I had to yeah. think about baseball. You're, 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 I think, I think we... Uh, <laughs> no, you're built for comfort, not speed, I can oh, tell. Oh, calm now. <laughs> oh. This, the film looks actually very good. I'm not, well, you I'm can saying, take that tone of surprise no, out of you. No, I didn't mean that. I mean, it does look very good, though, with yeah, the, it's old, good, the it's mirror good. and you get up close. Yeah, 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 the old Hungarian. I love oh. it. When, when they gave me that line, I thought, I, I thought, I have, I, you know... Well, I have to see that. Oh, I had a long time since I've seen the old Hungarian mirror trick. I thought, well, no, one, no one's going to buy that. But of course, um, but then I didn't care because I got paid really well. Yeah, so, yeah. Um... Also, also, the truth is that's why they hire you because you can sell that line. If that's they put, right. for example, that's Ryan right. Seacrest in there, they'd be like, well, what? <laughs> Unfair to Ryan, I think. Well, all right, maybe not Ryan Seacrest. If... I saw his Hamlet, you know. Really? Marvelous. <laughs> no. My Hamlet. <laughs> Do you mean penis? No, I meant the small village he lived in. <laughs> <laughs> he's not Hungarian, you know, right? He's not Hungarian. No, no, no. no, no many no, people no. think he's Hungarian. Yeah. Like, why do you always put the ooh -la -la cop over here? <laughs> <laughs> I just figured this out. Every night I come out here, I drink, I, I, I'm, and it looks like I'm being rude. Yeah, like I'm... It, ma it, makes, it makes you look like a dancer. I, mean, I yeah, must yeah. fetch my beverage. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. <laughs> It it's a long cool. time since I've seen the old Hungarian <laughs> cup trick. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been then, dear? I've been great, mate. You're here? Really You're here? You oh, yeah, yeah, I had my head shaved for a... I was doing a play on Broadway and I had my head shaved for about the best part of uh, six months. Really? And uh, everyone kept saying, do you think it'll ever come back? Are you worried that it won't come back? See, that's read... another... That's that age thing again. Know, yeah, it? yeah. Well, I, I read a story that that's how Yul Brynner ended up sort of bald, because he, he shaved his head for a movie role, yeah. and then he got some illness or something. He got some virus or something. Well, that, that's, then, that's the clue. And then his hair didn't come back. Boy, that's it's the illness, not the shaving at all. Well, exactly, right. exactly. So I, was, I did oh, yeah. that with my downstairs hair. <laughs> When it ceased to what, what, what when, 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 when it, it ceased to amuse me, Alfred. <laughs> it no longer amused me. I teased it into many styles and then I shaved it off. Uh, I bet, I, that must hurt. Does that hurt? It must hurt. That what, must shaving it? off your downstairs it hair? It must hurt. Yeah, but it hurts in an also yeah. Bastille Day uh, way. Yeah, yeah. You're very, you're very, you're very, you're very, you're very happy about the Bastille Day. I, I think it's great. I think it's great because it means that people all around the world can, can legitimately indulge in really bad French accents. You know. Are you implying my French accent isn't completely authentic? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. No, not at all. Not at all. No, but I, I, that's why I was glad when France got knocked out of the World Cup because it, 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 it meant we could all start going around going. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you know, like, <laughs> Where are the Molinas from then? The Molinas. Uh, my dad was uh, Spanish from Madrid, oh, right. and my mother was uh, Italian. Mm, from no, Torino. Fiery. Yes, fiery. But, but yeah, but my house, it was like the third act of Aida. Wow. It was like a lot of screaming, a lot of shouting. Yeah, but you know. very good food. Very good, very yeah. good food. Very yeah, good yeah, food. Yeah, yeah I, I was a big fat kid because I, I, I used to eat so much. I was just a big fat kid for absolutely no reason. <laughs> <laughs> just because you were Scottish. I think, I, you know, when I think back to it, I didn't really eat that much. I was just fat. Oh, no, we had loads. It seems terribly unfair. I was like, I, oh, I, no, I nothing once, for me. I got, I got, I actually got beaten up in school once for, for, for turning up at school with an avocado pear in my lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, what's that? Yeah, what's that? Is what's that, that some kind of Nazi fruit? Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. What's that, you Italian puff? Yeah, yeah. You know. Really? No, because no, my dad used to... My, my dad was a, a, a waiter in, in a restaurant, and, and they used to... You know, one of the perks of the job was you know, anything that was left over that couldn't be used, they would he would take home. So, you know, he would come home, like, you know, with little things wrapped up, and I came back with these... A whole bunch of avocado pears, and, and I actually liked avocados. So yeah, I, I, I like I, avocados I, I too. I took one to school the next day in my lunchbox. 
and uh, they beat you up for it. I got, I got, yeah, I got smacked around for it. No, you see the thing is that's the English for you. Well, in, in, in Scotland too, that would be the same thing. If I brought in an avocado or some such device like a <laughs> banana or an <laughs> orange, it would be like, who do you think you are, <laughs> lording it over us with your citrus? <laughs> Yeah, no, I remember that. Yeah, no, 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 and they ask you why you come here. Do you, you still uh, hold avocados in your hand like that? Yes, well, I, 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 I do a thing where I, my father taught me this. Cause your I, father that was allowed to take things home from the restaurant. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That weren't being yeah, used. Yeah, he used to borrow food. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. right. And then, you know, you slice it the long way, and then and then you just hit the uh, hit the, the stone with the knife. We're still talking about the avocado, That's right? That's right, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were a grunt when yeah, you hit the you hit stone, the stone with that. Yeah, and, and, and just do a little very mild, very subtle... Uh, oh! It's like... Uh, uh, and yeah. then you just turn the knife, and it, it pops out. The avocado. The avocado stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The avocado yeah, stone. Yeah. Do you ever collect avocados? You should have to I should have told you all this when you were trying to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't trying that hard. I actually warned my wife. I said, you know, if we keep doing this, something's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it's it's. How many kids you got? I've got uh, I've got one biological child. Right. And two stepsons. And then grandchildren. And, and two grandchildren. Yeah, we talked about them when. Uh, yeah, when you when were I was right. here last. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah. I remember. What age are they now? In their forties, the grandkids. Yeah, the, the grandkids are now yeah, twenty-five and. <laughs> <laughs> now my grandson's about to be seven this year, and uh, my granddaughter just celebrated her fourth birthday. Are they in America? Or no, no, they, they they live back in London. I, I, I said America like that. Is yeah, it? And I, that, did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did that. I did that. The America's like, that way. London's, London's that just way. over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> no, that's rather lovely. No, that's I, now, nice. in the, the, are you the bad uh, the bad wizard in the village? I am the bad wizard. Yes, I am. I am uh, Nick. Cage's nemesis. And uh, we started off, the, the backstory is that we started off as we were protégés of Merlin. Oh, yeah. And thousands of years ago, it, it, Balthazar, Nick Cage's character, decided to take the high road, the road of good. Oh, and you and, went, you went and the and other I went, way. Yeah. I went the other way. And then at some point, do you say, I am your father? <laughs> Something like that. But though I, at one point, I do mention the fact that we were friends once and we fell out over a woman. Ah, that sometimes that is, happens. That is the men. way of the world. Yeah, absolutely. I sometimes go up to the interns around here and go, and say to them, "I am your father." <laughs> well, you're old enough to be there. I know. That's right, and uh, and it freaks them out. <laughs> I thought you were going to slap me there when I said that. <laughs> oh, because I'm old enough to. No, I'm old enough to have a teenage child. Yeah, yeah, yeah easily, yeah. easily. He said. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Not because I, of the way you look, it's the way you behave. <laughs> well, I behave all. Like an old, yeah, like a... Oh, dear you! <laughs> what? Now get off my street and put some plastic on it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man, that's a very attractive watch. It's a, this is an antique watch. Really? Um, thank you for noticing it. My wife bought me that. It's an yeah, antique watch. That's very nice, yeah. yeah. it's lovely. It's about... When, when uh, does, when, how old is that, then? It's, it's about uh, 60 years old. And you can tell that by looking at it? It tells you? Well, because... <laughs> It tells when? me. It tells me the time. It tells me the time. It tells me what the time was in 1947. <laughs> it's 1947, and thankfully we won the war. Look out, though! Here comes the Soviet Union with some very nasty plans. Yes, but we can always. But thank goodness we can always rely on the French. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. Do you ever spend any time in France? Yeah, I've, I've spent. I've, I've worked there quite a few times. I've had. A, I always. You know, I love it there. I it's fantastic. I, yeah, I make fun I of it, but I actually love it. They're great people. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice. nice. And the food. You know, as you said, you know, the food's fantastic. I got to be honest with you. I prefer Italian food. Well, I do too. You know, but, I think you know, French food—they could put a lot of sauce on it. You know. Well, and my I'm, mother always used to say, whenever some, whenever somebody. Uh, commented or, or complimented French food. Right. My mother would always say they stole it from the Italians. <laughs> and she, and she Your mother was from Pakistan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, never. <laughs> hey, no. hey, 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 hey. Yeah, yeah, never, yeah, yeah. Never you're, you're not safe here. Yeah, not you're safe not safe here. No, no, never try and do an accent on this show. <laughs> no, I tried <laughs> once. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> no, but she, she was always saying, oh, no, the Italians invented." You know, that was it. That's an Italian thing. You know, the French stole that. The French stole that. But I don't think they did, though. Really, no, they did just put sauce on I everything. Think, yeah, they just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they do. I mean, they, we had this. I, I, I had, I had a mashed potato. In Paris once, that one was so mashed potato. No, it was a portion of mashed potato, and it was so delicious. And I found out the secret was that it was fifty percent potato and fifty percent butter. <laughs> 
anything that is 50% butter is delicious. Oh my god, it was fantastic. <laughs> but and 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 the sh and the chef apparently said said that it, it was he 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 named the ingredients and he said and then there's a lot of this. Just a lot of stirring and stirring and stirring. And, and it came out, it was a beautiful, beautiful, small portion of mashed potato, and it tasted, it was like cream. It, the same consistency as cream. Why didn't you just have cream then? Well, because it was savoury, you see? Yeah. It's, it like, it's, like, it's like when people say, you know, I'll try this soy hot dog. It's just like milk. It's, uh, <laughs> 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 That's exactly what they say. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. Uh, it's going to look out of place in the rest of the oh, show, man. Yeah, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't oh, matter. we got to go to commercials now. Oh, oh are, are we done? Or are oh, we are done? Oh, tutti frutti. Um, <laughs> I mean, tutti frutti. Uh, <laughs> really, we're done already. God. I know, I'm sorry, it's Alfred. It's all right. It's a play. It's always nice. Always. Oh, nice it's lovely there. to see you. I, I I like your haircut. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's very nice. Although I think the Italians did that first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, they invented this. Yeah, right. yeah, the lovely Alfred Molina, everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doctor Watson, will you um, crikey? He's dead. <laughs> Questions abound. Who could do such a thing? How did they do it? And most importantly, where do I find a new assistant? <laughs> I, I also have a question. Has there been a murder? <laughs> I know you. You're Paul McCartney. <laughs> I, I get that all the time, but let me guess who you are. Let's see. You have a British accent. You dress kind of weird. You're a dude. You're obviously Madonna. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm Sherlock Holmes. And that's elementary, my dear idiot. Whoa, no, well, I remember you. You're Jessica Fletcher, the famous murder mystery writer who always asks the same annoying question. You mean, has there been a murder? <laughs> Oh, for sure. For sure. sure? Yes, it's an old Edwardian word. For sure. For it sure? means stop. Oh. If there's one thing I cannot tolerate, it's silliness. It's a load of naff faffing cods while a piddly poo. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> but you need an assistant. What about me? I need the work since my last book didn't sell very well. Here it is. Self massage for dummies. <laughs> Sorry, wrong book. Where is it? Here, hold on to this for a moment, would you? What kind of detective equipment is this? Oh, this helps me solve the case of the missing man, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, what I do is I like to... Oh, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> now, I must solve this crime, and I can't have an assistant who keeps saying, Has there been a murder? Oh, fine, fine. I'm able to ask plenty of other questions, like, Has there been a death? By murder. That's poppycock. It's exactly the same thing. All right, all right. I promise I won't say it anymore. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yes. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cherry. Sorry, I thought I was in a musical. No. <laughs> Let's look at the clues. All right. First of all, a recently fired gun. Oh, that begs the question. Now, you say it and you're fired. I won't say it. I won't say it. Oh, God, blimey. Get out. You're useless to me. Really? Useless? What if I told you I could prove this isn't a murder? It's a suicide. <laughs> Pish, tosh, bish, bosh, bosh. What I'm saying is you couldn't possibly prove that. Really? Really? Well, consider all the clues. That lamp. Mm -hmm. It's July. Hmm. I've got back fat. And <laughs> there's a suicide note. Look. <laughs> Yes, I didn't like it here, so I killed myself. Yes! That's... that's really... I can remember. Stupid, isn't it? <laughs> yes? Ooh la la! Stupid, but yes. also brilliant. Yes, you're right! It's stupid, but brilliant! It's like it came all the way round! 
Look, the other side. Yes. It's like if it's, it's like the Tootsie Fruitsie. Between stupid and brilliant. Yes, yes. Or to put it another way, it's an SBB. It, SBB? Stupid but, but brilliant. brilliant. Oh, very good. I like when you say things and then stop saying them and just say the first letters of them. Yes, it's an old... Uh, it's, uh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. It's a way of getting out of trouble. Yes. I think it's a BX53021. I suppose the B's for bollocks. Yes, yes absolutely. Know. You know... When I think about it, we make an amazing tea. Yes. Is that your hand on my buttocks? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> well, it's not him. No, uh, no, we can still work together. No, we can't work together. Oh, well, look, make your mind no, up. We, I don't know where we're going We here. can't work together because of... Oh, I know. Sexual tension. No. <laughs> no, it's elementary, my dear she-male. I, <laughs> I don't find you attractive. Really? Not according to your pipe. <laughs> Yes, I, I suppose I am attracted a, in a little bit. I've never seen my pipe quite so straight. <laughs> yes, I think it's ambitiously large as well. Yes. Not sure if I should put it in my mouth now. Well, I'm not putting it in mine. <laughs> Please welcome Alfred Molina, everybody. Alfred Molina. It's very nice to see you. You sound very American in that clip. Yeah, well, I've been practicing. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's, it's rubbing off on you. It's rubbing off a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah a little yeah. bit. You're sounding American now. Right well, here. a little bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lovely to see you. And That's congratulations great to see you too. on the show. It's, thank you. Thank it's you very uh, much. The, the Law and Order. That's yeah. um, Law and Order Los Angeles, or yeah. Lola, as it's becoming Lola. known. Yeah, Lola. <laughs> You yeah. used to work under that name a long time ago. I did, you? yes, yes, yes. Lola and her feathers. I yeah, think that's the, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the feathers. <laughs> What's happened to those guys? Well, no, they all they all came out, but. Um... <laughs> And, and two of them are running a bed and breakfast in Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, that's right, they, they used to all come out and you were behind them that's as right. Lola. That, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. The, the, feathers, uh, the feathers were very strategically placed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it was, yeah. It was a good act. Small you know, feathers, is no, that recall? No, 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 yeah. fairs. No. So it was a sparrow, the act was good to us. and wrens. There was yeah. nothing ostrich no, there. No, there was nothing a, ostrich, no, yeah. just little, uh, any sort of, any birds that can be, you know, any small birds. We used the feathers for. Didn't mm. need anything. Didn't need anything bigger. Yeah. It was a very small act. It was, it was a small act. <laughs> played in very cold theatres. Yes, yeah. yes. We, we we only played in tiny venues. Yeah. Small venues. Yeah, congratulations. You're playing a lawyer. That means you're playing a complete and utter bastard <laughs> in this. Uh... Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yes. But with a heart. With a heart of gold. Really? Does he yeah. have a heart of gold? Well, we, we'll see. We'll see. He's he's a he's a very um, he's, he's he's a tough character in the sense that he's kind of, uh, he, he, he understands that little moral sort of grey area between justice and the law. What is that little you know, moral well, well, it's area sort of then? Where, where, you know, the rules can be massaged in order to really? achieve, uh, <laughs> you know. The rules can be massaged to achieve a happy ending? Uh, a happy or ending the, or... or uh, at the or, end of the hour yeah, of television? That's right, when everyone can... And by run. television I mean... <laughs> Anything in that little area. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you been here since the skeleton? Yes, yeah, uh, Jeff. Jeff. Uh, Jeff. I, I, yes, I've been here since then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. But he was always—he was very quiet last time I was there. Yeah, no, he's—he's. He's I think he he's on spoke meth or something. <laughs> 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 what have you been up to? I haven't seen you since when? July is last the, Yeah, last, Yeah, I just got back from the, doing the play in New York. My head was shaved. Oh, that's right. Yes, you did. were very frightening. Whereas my here. wife said I look like a penis with ears. <laughs> With my you could do hair. that, you'd get the Nobel Prize, my friend. <laughs> Nobel Prize me. And the Nobel Prize goes to, it's going to be me. <laughs> I love the idea. I love the idea of the scientists doing all the speeches. The yeah. red carpet. Yeah, do I, yeah, yeah. Does, my, does this lab coat make me look fat? Yeah. I love that idea. Well, it's white. White it's, makes yeah, you look, yeah. yeah, puts the weight That's on. Right. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever do 
the red carpet things. When you I were... have done on occasion. Yeah. Yeah, but it's kind of the, 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 there was one there was one very wonderful moment when I was I did a film where I was playing you know the, the second lead and uh, uh, Salma Hayek was the leading uh, the leading star of the movie. Oh, what was this film again? It was called Frida. Yeah, yeah, that's and right. Yeah, we yeah. did a red carpet for that, right. and as we were coming along. They were kind of, all the photographers were going, Salma, 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 over here, over here! Salma, 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 Salma! Salma, Salma! Oh. Yeah. And then there was this, I was standing there, and then suddenly I felt this hand just kind of take me by the elbow and pull me out of the way. Oh, that's... And it was the, uh, it was, <laughs> it, it was the publicity manager. He was like, I was <laughs> just pulling me out of the way, it was very funny. I'm glad you saw the funny side. I, I did see the funny oh, yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to be there anyway. Right. You know. Would you not enjoy it then? Not really. Because like, no. they, they say stupid things to you like, smile. Oh, come on, give us a smile. And you want to say, what's that coming to go? Yeah. <laughs> this is you know as good I, as you're you, making me feel. Do you know what I hate is when, if you ever go any of these things, right? I only never do it. If it ever happens. Anyway, look, <laughs> when I, uh, whenever I go in the, and they say, what do you think about Tiger Woods? And they go, what? I, I don't want to talk about that. And they go, it's not like, and then they can yeah. use it in their little show business show and exactly, say, oh yeah, yeah the yeah. Scottish Conan guy said Tiger Woods is naughty. Right, and, yeah. and then, then they, 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 you know, they, they, they kind of like sideswipe you with, with they'll, they'll ask you all these kind of trivial questions about, you know, what you're doing and what you're wearing. And then they'll suddenly say, so, What's your solution for world peace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like... What is your solution for world peace? <laughs> More pornography, I yeah. think. Yeah. Well said, Doc Because if you're keeping your hands busy, you can't throw a punch. Uh, see, I like your style. I like your style. Busy hands keep no, the... Exactly. ...the away you know, or something. You know, yeah. yeah. Because when you're in the middle of it, it's like someone says something, you go, go yeah, sure, whatever, whatever. Sure, be within a second. You know. I don't do that. No, no. 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 Well, no you're too busy. No, right? you're, too you're too busy. busy. I'm like, yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shaving. <laughs> <laughs> My entire body. <laughs> <laughs> so you were in uh, New York doing the plate. Was it very hot over there? It was, was very horrible, hot. It, it was starting to get hot. It didn't quite yeah. get as hot as it ended up like. It wasn't quite at the height of the summer. Were you here early. last week when it got to yeah, 120 or something? I couldn't believe it, yeah. yeah. yeah I, very, I very hot. burst into flames. Did you really? <laughs> kind of flaming yeah, in a yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I understand. Do I mean, you have the same problem? I, everybody thinks I'm gay because of my accent. <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think people make the assumption that if you sound vaguely European, yeah. you're gay. Yeah. And it's interesting because nine times out of ten, you probably are. Probably are, yeah. yeah. But the thing is, that one percent that we belong to, you're right. we kind of get, mm -mm. we're all, mm, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, we're all, we're all tarred <laughs> with the same brush, you know what I'm saying? But, it, but the worst Have thing Have you is ever been tarred by a brush? Never been tarred by a brush, no. never, never, But I've been brushed by a tar. <laughs> 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 uh, I that's, remember, almost, you, yeah, that's yeah. almost the gayest thing I've ever said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost the almost. gayest thing you've ever almost. said. Almost. Why is almost. it funny to pretend to be gay sometimes? I don't. It's just. It's just. What, it is funny. It's yeah. Funny. It is funny. I, I don't know what it is because I mean I in no way mean disrespect to the gay community no, by me doing that. I, I, no, I really well, don't. But it's because they've got the best jokes. They've got the best music. They've got the best clothes. You know. Yeah, it's true, and the furniture's neat and everything. Fur, yeah, yeah, everything, yeah, everything's great. <laughs> Best parades. I mean, if you look at the history of parades, like, Gay Pride Parade versus, you know, Shriners Parade. Oh, I'd, I'd rather go to the Gay Pride Parade. Yeah, I'd, I'd be like, um, I'm here, not really yeah. queer, but I enjoy myself. I, when, we got our, when we got our house renovated, I was showing some friends around all, everything that we'd done, and yeah. we had these new bathrooms put in. And I had this nice, which I thought was like a really nice bathroom. And th these friends of mine came to see who were gay. And they walked into the bathroom, they went and they looked at the bathroom and they said, Oh, this is a gay man's dream. <laughs> and I, I was really flattered. Yes! That, that, means, I thought, that yeah. means I've got pretty good taste. <laughs> and I found myself going, Really? <laughs> 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 I was delighted. So you've had your house renovated then? I had my house renovated, yeah. This is like yeah. a talk show. It's, it's just like, you know, it's almost just like a talk show. Yeah, really? 
is it? Well, I used to watch talk shows and people come on and say, oh yeah, you just had your house renovated. Are you actually up? But in those days, they all used to smoke. Smoke, yes, that was the I saw, I saw some old reruns of, of some early talk shows from like right. the, the, the 60s, and it was amazing. People were, like lighting up and smoking. Oh, doing lines of coke off <laughs> the tail. Like, <laughs> so, uh, tell me about this <laughs> Easy Rider thing. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds yeah. like a good movie. <laughs> 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 oh, bring! I, I miss that. Yeah, I miss yeah, those I days. Miss those I miss those days. Nowadays, it's all... now you've got now you've got a snake for a cup. Yeah, yeah. Now you've got to drink out of a waxed snake. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of waxed snakes, um... not lately. No. No, I'm just wondering. <laughs> I didn't want to ask. <laughs> How are things over at NBC? Everything everything's right? fine. It's yeah. very nice to be over at the Rival Network. Everything, everything's very nice. It, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's all going very well. But I've noticed they haven't invited me on any of their talk shows. Haven't they? No. Oh. No, so, you know. Who's working over there now? Who cares now? Yeah, I'm sticking... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they won't give me the time of day. I'm not giving them the time of day. Well, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sure you've stirred up a bit of a hornet's nest yeah, now. Yeah, good, yeah, good. There'll, there'll be all sorts of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come and do it. I said, no, sorry. No, no, you can't. No. You, you should do Fallon's show. He's good. Yeah, he's, yeah. He is, I, I, yeah, I've, I've watched him his show. Yeah, yeah, no, he's, he's good, he's good. Now, but if yeah. they ask me, I have, to, I have to check with Craig. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, thank yeah, you yeah, very no, much. No, you're all right. Oh, you do, do a Jimmy show. Yeah. yeah it's in right. New York, though. You have to go to New York. That's all right. I went to New York recently to do a talk show, what and one? I flew all the way there, one of the early morning shows. Regis? Uh, no, no, no. Another one. Earlier than that. And I was on for a minute and tw I, I was on for two minutes. I flew all the way there. Oh. How long did it take you? I was exhausted. <laughs> 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 You should get a solid ten minutes here. Yeah, well, you know. it's over, though. Value for money. No, it's over. It's Is done it now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks very much. Well, here, here, do you want to uh, go out on a quick uh, blow? Why not? All right. <laughs> All right. If you oh, there you go. You got a fresh one. Oh, there. I got a fresh one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I say. Yeah. All right. Unwrap it. Okay. Slowly, slowly. All right. Ready? A one, a two, a one, two, three. I saw the time we got half a million. Could you? That's a lovely suit you're wearing. Thank you very Did much. Did you just walk straight from that clip right onto the show? Yes, yes, I, I changed my tie and yeah. put a comb through my hair. Yeah, it's nice. And uh, yes. Wait a minute, you're English again. You I were American again, in the yeah. clip, and now you've become English again. I keep telling you, this is my real accent. I do the English for the chicks. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> I, uh, are you excited about the royal wedding? You're English. I'd rather eat my own elbows. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't go. I thought I, you'd be I, invited. No, no. I, I, I did an interview recently, and this, this woman said, uh, so, the Royal Wedding's at the end of April. Are you going to be there? And I said, no. Are you going to be watching? No. Are you interested? No. And then she looked into the camera and went, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like... It was, like, it, was the, it, 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 the, it was like the interview had just hit a wall. I, like, listen, I have been right. there, girlfriend. I say here some nights, they come out here, I'm like, hey, I got nothing. Say the name of your product. What's that coming to go? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's hard, though. I, I sympathize with her something. I mean, I feel naughty sometimes, though, when people interview me about anything. I'm like, oh, what? Come on, wait. No, you know, like, I was just trying to be honest. I mean, yeah. she's asking me, you know, I was saying, no, I mean, I've, good luck to them. I hope they're very happy and everything, but I mean, I'm not interested. And it was this kind of terrible, the crushing look. Disappointment. It, it was yeah. as if I'd wished her some terrible illness that she, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you say, 
Christ. Did you wish I think people are more interested here than they are in, in England. Really? I, don't, I haven't been in Britain in a it's long, long time. It's positively hysterical here. I mean, you know. But well, they've got, they've got, you know, they're selling all these things now. You know, the commemorative mugs and the plates. And right. They've even got, I think, a commemorative toilet roll. <laughs> oh, now you have my attention. <laughs> Because <laughs> now I, I can express might like how I really feel about I, those yeah, bastards. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, think, I think I hope they're very happy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let me wish you one more time. <laughs> The, uh, I think, though, that Americans quite like their royal weddings because they don't have to Ooh, pay for them. That's, that's right. the... Uh... That's right. Oh, that, was the other, that was the other thing I said to this interview. I, I said, I'll get interested in the wedding when the royal family start paying tax. Yeah. And, they, and he was like... Mm. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> the, 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 the people from NBC who were organising the, uh, the interviews, I could see them all rushing around to the, to the interviewers coming up saying, Don't, don't, don't ask him about the royal wedding. No, no, no. Oh, you're oh say no, don't you're say it, don't say it. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, dear. So NBC now, but you've changed. Now, uh, you used to be a, a lawyer, now you're a cop. You're a That's cop, right, yeah, yeah. My character started out as a DA, and now he's he's gone back to uh, to, to being a, a, being a cop. Yeah, the only DA who actually could take the pay cut. <laughs> yeah. Is that, it's kind of like he's bi-curious? He's by curious, yeah. absolutely. Yes, he's by curious. Yeah, he's gone back. To, yeah, but it, it, it was an interesting. Uh, it was an, when the idea was pitched to me. I thought this is either a bold stroke of genius, or it could be the last wave of a drowning man. I, don't I, like that. I think that about this show every damn night. <laughs> I think are we either yeah. doing something very interesting here or this is a yeah. desperate man feeling. Yeah, you look yeah. like a man hanging by his fingernails. I you feel look. like <laughs> it. It's true. Now, um, let's see. Do you know anything about American procedural law? Criminal law? Do you know anything about criminals? Apart from your own criminal history? <laughs> I like, you know, I've, I always go back into myself, right. you know, for my parts. No, I, well, I did, I did a little bit of research, and I, and I, I did meet some, I, I did meet some detectives, and they were, they were really interesting men because they, they, they sort of, they had this sense of humour that's incredibly macabre. Very dark, yeah, you know, yeah, and, yeah. And, there's, and there's, so there's lots of kind of jokes that I think I, I could never get away with telling jokes like that. No, no, and I but, can't. And yeah. <laughs> And they're like, but the, but lot, I mean, there was there was one detective who who said, uh, "Are you married?" And I said, "Yes." He says, "You want to see a picture of my girlfriend?" And I said, "Yeah." And he pulled out a photograph, and it was a photograph of a cadaver. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, you know, like like a. Hang on a second. A, a dead, dead body. Person? <laughs> oh, I don't understand the French, <laughs> there, Alfred. <laughs> A cadaver. It's what you put on the back of chairs. No, no, that's an antimacassar. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he just pulled it out, and and the, and his the, the humour for him was to see the look on my face, and and I and I and I did. I sort of went, who? Yeah. Like and then I saw him go. Ugh. <laughs> I, I think I made his day. I think yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, luckily that's who we've got solving crimes then. <laughs> but no, you've got me now. Well, You're no, right. well, You're okay. no. I think it's quite interesting though that people like that because I always, I'm, I'm rather, you know, I've gotten to the age now where I, I'm impressed and I kind of like cops. It used to be, you know, when I was younger, I was not that impressed with them and I didn't like them at all. <laughs> they, they kept chasing me around and trying to get me to explain what I was doing. <laughs> you didn't get into a lot of trouble when you were younger. No, I didn't. I, the, the only bit of trouble I got, I think I may have told you the story. I got, the only bit of trouble I got into was when I got stopped by a policeman in this country. Oh. Uh, but I did get arrested at a demonstration once when I was very young. What were you demonstrating I, against? I, 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 I actually can't remember. Really? Yeah, but, but we, we, very important though, yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. At, the time, yeah. at the time, it must have been crucial. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'd, we sat down outside 10 Downing Street, you know, where the Prime Minister lives, and, yeah. and uh, we all got arrested. I got picked. And Jill, my wife, told me that she was trying to find out where I was, and she was phoning my stepson while she was watching TV, and there was a clip of me getting arrested. Wow. And apparently she was saying, Adam, I'm looking... I don't know where Fred... Oh, don't worry, I think I found him. <laughs> <laughs> and there was me kind of going... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> How dare you, I'm outraged about this thing I can no longer remember. Why? I am so outraged. But the next day, but we, we, had to, we had to go to court the next morning. We had to be arraigned at uh, court the next morning to pay a fine. Right. And this judge, who was clearly bored out of his mind, and we were all taken out, so we all got up. And I noticed the people in front of me, if they... If they made a political statement in the the dock, they got a bigger fine. Oh! So me, the coward that I am, I, th I decided to be absolutely quiet. So I, I said nothing, and the judge said, "Do you have anything to say?" And I said, "No." And then he said, "What do you do for a living?" And I said, 
I'm an actor. Really? Successful? <laughs> I said, not really. Was, 15 pounds fine. <laughs> really? That's pretty good. And I thought, I you know, he was like, as if somehow, you know, oh, well, you can't afford it. Give yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a terribly bad business for the uh, for the actors when they when it's not working, oh, isn't no, it, dear? That's very sad. I know. That was that. That was the. Uh, that was. The, uh, but I was on a stage. You know, on the dock. I stood up. I had a light. And you still didn't see anything, I didn't which showed a remarkable but I was, restraint. But I, I was think. dying, uh, yeah, dying yeah. to break into song. My lord, I would like to say <laughs> on this day, as we are gathered here, <clears throat> I'd have still been in jail if they'd have put me up there. <laughs> Did you do a lot of uh, theatre, regional theatre and stuff when you were starting out? I was, yeah, I did. I did loads of stuff, yeah, all over the place. I toured and you know did shows. I worked for the Children's Theatre Company. I did, we did, we did like potted versions of Shakespeare for ten-year-old kids in school. Well, how do you do Shakespeare for a ten-year-old? You go, well, you do to be or not to be, to be. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did plays where we cut out all the serious stuff, and we just did the kind of the funny, the comedy stuff. All right, okay. And it was all very over the top, and you know, yeah. not, very, not very good. But you know, the, but we do four shows a day. You know, it's like exhausting. Yeah, I've done a bit of that as well. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Now I do just do one show a day. It's crap, but it's only one a day. <laughs> I, but do you get tired doing this? You don't get well, tired. No, I mean, what I'm about, about, I'd say, 18 months to two years ago, I genuinely stopped giving. Crikey, dingo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of acted it a little bit to that point, but at a certain point I went, oh, I feel the same. And, <laughs> and I think that it, it makes it a lot easier to do the job when you have right, a complete right, disregard yeah. to whether you keep it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah, that's right. I, th I think there's, there's, a lot to, there's a lot to be said for that. Yeah, absolutely. I know. I mean, I'm sure I'll regret it deeply once I get -la -la! out of here, but until oh, then... Yeah. Yeah. Well, every time I get every time I get a phone call from you know at work and that somebody they, they'll say, oh, uh, Fred, uh, you know the producers would like to talk to you or the director. I always, there's always a part of me that thinks I'm going to get fired. Have you ever been fired? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've been fired. For what? Excellence? No. Oh, thank you, Roger. <laughs> That's very nice. Ah, uh, you know, I yes, always uh, like that. I, I might. Uh, can I quote you? I'll, I'll, I'll say, I'm going to do that next time. Yeah. I got fired for being really good. <laughs> No, I got, you know, I've been fired, and, and it's, not, it's never very nice, but there's always that moment of, of you sort of, you know, you kind of go, well, I, I didn't want this job anyway. Right, yeah. And then you decide to make an, entry, make an exit, you know, you kind of like it. And I remember once I got fired, and I, I picked up my coat, and I thought I'd give it a bit of a flourish, you know, like <laughs> I didn't care. And I picked up my coat, and I managed to knock a bottle of water over, all over, the person who had been trying to save my job. Ah. Uh. The, the one person in the room who was yeah. kind of saying, oh, please reconsider, please, th you know, give him a chance. Give him a chance? <laughs> and I grab no, like a fire him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear, that is... Well, awful. actors, though, deal with that kind of rejection all the time, though, really. I mean, they you do. You, you learn a part, and you go up, and you audition... Well, I don't suppose you do much in the way of auditioning now, but, I mean, they, they, you audition for a part, and then they kind of reject you right there. That's in, right. In the moment. That's, That's right, why yeah. I would never let, uh, you know, any of my boys be actors when they're kids. Because, uh, you know, if they say, you want to be actors, I say, well, you have to wait till you're grown up you know I love you but the answer is no mm. because that's what you're gonna hear most more, more than anything yeah. else when you're yeah. an actor I they love you but the answer is yeah. no but you develop you develop a bit of a thick skin to it you know but it's it, it's never pleasant no you know you kind of uh, you deal with it but it's never it's never pleasant to be told you know no it's, you know, it's horrible but yeah, it's, no, uh, it's awful it's, by, it's like being rejected by a girl you didn't want to sleep with in the first place <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to take your word for that <laughs> oh, it's happened to me many times, Alfred. <laughs> uh, we're kind of, uh, we're low on time. Would you fancy an awkward pause or harmonica? Let, let's have an awkward pause. Awkward pause, really? Uh, you surprised me. Because we did the harmonica last time I was here. Oh, we did. I, I, I've, I've always wanted to do the awkward pause. Well, the awkward pause <laughs> is, you know, one that I relish doing with actors such as yourself. Yeah. But I wonder if we could probably approach an awkward pause with maybe a subtext. Let's try that. Uh, sexual? Okay. Or... Uh, we could try for smell my finger, awkward pause. Let's go for the subtext. Subtext, sexual yeah. subtext, awkward pause. I might throw a smell my finger into that. All right. All right. Alfred, the, the word pause would imply a lack of movement.
This is the first time in a long time I've been scared doing this show. You've met your match. I think I have. <laughs> Alfred Molina, everyone. <laughs>
Um, I can't remember. Uh, they both kind of look the same. <laughs> have you ever met Angela Lansbury? Or... Yes, I have. I've worked with her. Really? Yeah, she's, she's ex surprisingly she, tall. Isn't yeah, she? she's very tall. She played my mum, and right. she was, uh, and she's, she's got a bit of a potty mouth. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have thought. She likes to talk dirty. Do you know who else is a little bit like that? Surprisingly, Julie Andrews, Dame Julie Andrews. Really? Oh, she's lovely. She's like, oh dear, how lovely to see you. It's so I think this is lovely hair. And all that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you, even cuss words like that coming out of Julie Andrews, you go, that's classy. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> <laughs> No, but she's great, Angela. She's great fun. Yeah, she, she, you should have her on the show. I would love she's to have her on the show, but I think I might have ticked her off a bit oh, by saying no, she looks no, like, she's like Paul McCartney. No, I don't think so. I think, <laughs> I think you're more, you should be more worried about how Paul McCartney feels. Oh, no, I tell you, <laughs> I, I was actually I was presenting at the Grammys one year, a couple of years ago, and I walked out to present this award to uh, Katy Perry. It was and and the uh, it was that she had a song called "I Kissed a Girl," and uh, just before uh, our manager came up to me and said, "By the way, Katy's not really a lesbian." I'm like. I don't care. <laughs> they went, all right. And, I, and then I went out, and I went out to present the award uh, to Katy Perry, and in the front row at the Grammys, Sir Paul McCartney. And he's looking at me, and I'm thinking, giving you the BDI? He hates me. Oh. <laughs> He's clearly, you know, he watches the show when he's with uh, President uh, Obama and Michelle. That's right. That's right. He's like, uh, I, you know, I usually watch Conan, you know, but because uh, it was it was back in. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, I think we're probably out of time already. Aren't Thank we? God for that. Yeah, no, it's been dragging. It was a tough one. It was a bad one, wasn't it? So the film, not, anyway, not film our, looks not, not good. Not our finest hour, this one. Chris. No, I think this is a great one, actually. <laughs> Listen, we got to know a lot more about your downstairs gentleman's garden area yeah, than I right, thought. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So, um, awkward pause, mouth organ, glittery ball? Um, I like awkward pause. Sure. Uh, the only thing I would say to you is, with the awkward pause now, we are trying some subtext. Yeah. Now, normally I would suggest the subtext of, I'm trying to look at your genitals and you're surprised by this. Mm -hmm. But I don't think this would surprise you. And also... <laughs> Also, I think a, an actor of your calibre, if you don't mind me saying so, I would like you, if you would like to, to choose your own subtext for the awkward pause and we can have a go. All right. All right. All right. Is that it? <laughs> Look, I, I know this is probably a bit stupid, but do I know what the subtext is? <laughs> Or, this is just your subtext and I'm just, you know, I'm just out here like oh, a grey hair on its own, if you know what I mean. Oh, I have to tell, I have to tell you well, what the subtext is. Well, it would be nice if I'm, you know, working with you in this awkward pause, if you would, you know, All right, me... well, the subtext is that I'm... My arse is on fire. Your arse is on fire, or, or... Can, can we say arse? It's a British word, it means ass. All right. Your ass is on fire. Smouldering. Smouldering. All right. Look, I know this is a bit stupid, but uh, it, it's not painful then. No, it's not painful. Oh, right, right. No, it's 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 pleasant. And my my. my I didn't realise subtext had to have some sort of quality. Oh, all right, all right, sorry, sorry. Far be it from me. You're the actor. <laughs> you, you're the one in a play. <laughs> <laughs> I made myself laugh yeah, there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, like, your ass is on fire and you're enjoying it. All right, all right. <laughs> the great Alfred Molina, everybody. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Um... <laughs> Yeah, thanks for your support. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you're aware of this, but uh, Jeff is uh, undergoing some uh, repairs at the moment, so we are trying out various different personality chips for the next two weeks. So uh, Jeff uh, will not necessarily be his normal self tonight. Is that right, Jeff? That's absolutely right, yes. I see. Uh, Jeff, this evening you seem to be sort of English. Yes, I, I, I picked up the E chip from the E file. <laughs> To, how did you manage to pick it up, Jeff, using your one arm that only goes up and down that much? It's a very small file. 
<laughs> It'd have to be a very small file that was right there. Yes. I see. So you're English, uh, you, but you have no emotions or you have emotions? No, I'm English. It speaks for itself. I see. <laughs> so, given that... Given that you uh, have no emotions... Uh, oh, English. Uh, sexually repressed? No. It's only sexual harassment if the robot isn't cute. <laughs> wait, wait. Is your mouth working all right? I'm slightly... I'm slightly concerned we're in a badly dubbed Jackie Chan movie right now. I'm breaking in a new boy. <laughs> Did you just think that and I heard it? Oh, you heard it. <laughs> All right, uh, join us after uh, this with new English Jeff. <laughs> Do you follow the sex scandals, English Jeff? Always. <laughs> You do? You, <laughs> you do? What, what, do, do, you, do you follow them in the newspaper? You still read the newspapers, I, I Of course, yes. Yeah. Do you read English newspapers or American newspapers? Does it matter? <laughs> of course it matters. How are you going to get the latest news on the Kardashians from an English newspaper? They know oh, nothing. The Kardashians are all over the place. <laughs> really? Yes. So they have the Kardashians in England? Yes. <laughs> I see. How do you feel about that? I don't. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a robot. <laughs> yes, I, I'm familiar with what you are. I'm just, I, I thought you might have some kind of emotion. You have no emotions at all? No. <laughs> you managed to say that without moving your mouth, I see. Yeah. I'm economising. Oh, you're economising, are you? Yeah. Economy of movement, that's what makes you a great actor, Jeff. <laughs> I see. He's proving me right. I'm Jeff, still uh, economising. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know. Like, listen, normally uh, what we do at this point in the show, you probably don't know this because of the chip you've got in at the moment, but normally, Jeff, you, will uh, introduce the commercial break. Do you feel up to that? Absolutely. Right, well, just look over here as opposed to the place where you're looking over there. <laughs> Look, look over here, Jeff, and then just, you know, introduce the commercial break in whatever way you feel comfortable doing. No. <laughs> Don't forget to come back after the commercial break. Yes, that's great! <laughs> the show where we're, uh, it's great tonight. There's, uh, it's the usual, but the... <laughs> We're trying out different personality chips on Jeff, and things are going great so far. Are you ready, Jeff? Yes, that's good. That's what regular Jeff does. I, I'm a little flummoxed. I've never... Regular Jeff has never been able to hit the high notes. <laughs> has he been replaced by Croatian Jeff? No, that's jive talk in England. Oh! <laughs> jive talk in England? Say it again! <laughs> It sounds a tiny It's not bit... worth the scrutiny, Craig. No! <laughs> I'm just saying. It sounds... <laughs> it sounds a tiny You've bit... You've got much better things to do. All right, all right, all right. All right, well, you know what time it is, don't you? Yes, it's time for emails and tweets. Yes, that's exactly it. Do the thing. This is uh, from Chuck in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You ever been to Tulsa, Oklahoma? I've never been to Tulsa, Oklahoma, no. You say that like you've been to another Tulsa that wasn't in Oklahoma. No, Tulsa, it sounds like some sort of skin rash. I've, that's a completely different place. Have you ever been to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? <laughs> You're right there. No, that made me smile inwardly. Oh, I see. Yeah, that, that doesn't help that much. Uh... All right.
right, this is from Chuck. He says, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. My wife and I are looking to buy a pet and we can only afford one. She wants a cat. I want a dog. How can we compromise? Jeff, cat or a dog person? What do you think? Dog, every time. Really? What yes. kind of dog do you like? One with four legs. <laughs> And you don't like cats at all, or you just like them slightly less than dogs? I find cats impulsive. <laughs> you can trust a dog. Well, it depends. What, you trust it to do what? You can't, you can't trust it to drive your kids to school. No, but it can fetch and carry. And a cat won't? No. What will a cat do then? Ever tried telling a cat what to do? Yeah. Liar. <laughs> Ever been at Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Have you? In a way. <laughs> I, I feel a certain tension between us. Cut me some slack, it's my first day. All right, yeah, fair enough. All right, this is from uh, Adrian in Chattanooga, Tennessee. You ever been to Tennessee? You got a little place there I like to go swim and get naked and throw pizza people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. a southern thing, isn't it? What, getting naked and throwing beads at people? Yes, I understand. No, no, no. It, it's a people thing, man. Mm. People like to get naked and throw beads at people and go swimming. I can't go swimming. Oh, yeah, of course. Sorry about that. My bolts would rust. You'd, you'd look like you were in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, Craig, I'm Jeff. I'm a typical American kid. Gee willikers, that's great for you. <laughs> My parents just got a job in Brussels, and I have to move there with them. Any tips on how to adjust over there? Well, are you in luck? We have a European chip in Jeff for this very purpose. Jeff, how would a young American kid fit in in Belgium? Not very well. I see. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> this is from Bjorn in Reykjavik, Iceland. Hello. I didn't know we went out in Reykjavik, Iceland. That's Oh, on the computer. They have a computer in Iceland? <laughs> have you ever been to Iceland? No. <laughs> I feel I'm keeping you from something, Jack. <laughs> I'm bolted to this podium. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Um, is that code? I'm bolted to this podium? <laughs> Dear Craig, uh, we are glad that you mention our beloved city and country whenever you introduce the big cash prize. That's due. Why? What made you choose us? Oh, wow, you speaking for the entire country of Iceland? <laughs> I chose you because one reason. Sigur Ross. A great band full of lovely tweety noises. <laughs> Have you ever had Sigur Ross from Iceland? I love them. Oh, they're great, aren't they? The... Oh, 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 oh. Come on, sing with me, Jeff. Nothing like them. They're good, though, aren't they? Marvellous. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Katie in Buffalo, New York. Ever been to Buffalo, New York? Got a yes, place? Buffalo. It's my favourite place. Oh, finally! That's great! Buffalo, you say? Why, why, why Buffalo? What do you like about Buffalo? The weather? The delicious wings? I was assembled in Buffalo. <laughs> I think we've all been assembled in Buffalo. <laughs> I was assembled in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> no, I thought you were from San Francisco. Oh, well, I, I moved there, but my bits and pieces were put together in Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> you must have gone to the same bar I did. There, anyway, <laughs> Katie in Buffalo says, Dear Craig and Jeff, my fiancé and I are planning our honeymoon trip. Any suggestions on a romantic place where we can consummate our marriage? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, where should Hotel they... Six, perhaps? I was thinking more of something you remember for a long time. What about a dumpster? <laughs> How dare you go, ah! Uh... <laughs> I didn't really mean a dumpster. I know the perfect place. Skin Rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. This is from Amy in Grants Pass, Oregon. You ever been there? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hi, Craig and Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Perhaps my chip's been replaced. 
Hi, Craig and Jeff. My blind date tomorrow night is at an Indian food restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I should avoid? Everything. <laughs> huh? Everything. Everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you probably... Uh, no. The thing, I love Indian food, I do. Do you like Indian food? Yes. <laughs> really? What's your favourite Indian food to eat, skeleton robot? Rogangosht. With a vindaloo sauce. <laughs> Smeared all over me. Yeah, you, you probably want to avoid smearing yourself with a vindaloo sauce or you really will end up in Skin Rash, Oklahoma. <laughs> All right, this is from Josh in Springfield, uh, Massachusetts, who says, uh, Hey, Craig and Jeff, I like the saying, an oldie but a goodie. Can you please work that into the show? <laughs> well, I think that's... Uh... <laughs> I, I, that's kind of an... <laughs> an opening... That's an old, oldie. But, uh... Oh, but a goodie. Hey, it's fun to watch a grown man sweat. <laughs> Even if it's not porn. This is from John in San Diego, California. He says, Hi, Craig and Jeff. My girlfriend likes us both to wear high heels while we're having sex. Hello! Is this weird? No, sir! It's awesome! Uh, this is from Mimi in Denver, Colorado. Ever been to Denver, Colorado? Yes, I have. Oh, do you enjoy it? I loved it. Oh, that's nice. Do you like the high altitude fun? I was in a boot of a car at the time. Ah. A boot, you say. That's what we call in America the trunk of a car. Oh, yes. Forgive me. I do know you, you like it in the trunk, though, don't you? I like it in the trunk. Yeah. This is from Mimi in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> oh, that did well, didn't it? Yeah, is that just reaching you now, is it? Dear GP in the Ferrex, uh, that's you and me. Uh, my fiancé's mom speaks Russian. Should I learn to speak it to know what she's talking about? Seems a bit extreme. Do you speak Russian, Jeff? Duh. I see. Anything else? Spasiba. <laughs> no, I got nothing. Oh, that amuses you, does it? Well, Jeff, we did well. I uh, throw it to the commercial break. I think we'll be fine. Don't forget to come back. No, thank you. No, you welcome back. We'll just be a minute. You're doing great. Just, I want you to just try and loosen up a little more. Just uh, move the arm up and down a little more. Yes, up and down, up and down. Uh, up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> try and move your mouth at the same time as you're talking. Yes, 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 yes. Right, right, right. Yes, yes, yes. Right, and, and that's pretty much yes. it. You could try moving your head from side to side. Side to side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and talk, talk and move your head. Talk and move my head. Whoa, yes! Very, very good. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> It's almost like I read your thoughts. <laughs> My next guests are... What did we learn on the show tonight? Yeah! <laughs> well, how do you think it went? I think it went very well. I think it went very well, too. I was very... I was, I was uh, you know, I was cautious at first. I was a little scared. Were you? Well, I was, because I thought, you know, the tension between Scotland and England that would somehow manifest itself, you know, here in the new world. <laughs> Balls. Wait a minute. That sounds an awful lot like old Jeff in there. I suppose there's still some Jeff floating around, is there? Yes, there's some little bits of Jeff inside. <laughs> I'm picking it up on my chip. I see. Well, we call them in the States fries. <laughs> <laughs> see what I did? See what I did there? Have you been in America long? No, not long. Hmm. Long enough to be dubbed, I see. Yes. But I've learned something tonight. Have you? I've learned some new words. Yes, what are they? Boner. 
Nipple? Nipple's a new word? Yes. I have none. <laughs> well, that Lesbian. Means... Lesbian? Oh, well, there's, there's... Yeah, well. It's a lesbian role right there. That's what they said. That's what they said when they come here. They're... One of guests. Is that near Skin Rash, Oklahoma? No, no, no. It, well, it depends on the individual lesbian involved, but I... I think that Skin Rash probably is... I bet you... I'll bet you there's a town in the United States called Skin Rash. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yes, yes, and I'll bet you that town has got a mayor. <laughs> mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma? Mayor Scratch... <laughs> and I bet you Mayor Scratchit of Skin Rash, Oklahoma is going to get in touch with us. And he's going to say, why don't you bring the show to Skin Rash, Oklahoma? And we'll say, well, in a way, we've always really been there. <laughs> right, Jeff? Absolutely right. You did a fantastic job, buddy. Thank you so much. Say May I call you Craig? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Thank you, English Jeff. Say goodnight to the folks. Good night, everyone. Good night. In fact, we've invited some celebrities to read from it. <laughs> Take a look. And now Alfred Molina reads an excerpt from Linda Cunningham's Small Town Girl. Goodbye, darling, he said, picking up his bag. I love you. I love you too, Charles. Then he turned a grin on his face. Sorry to disappoint last night. <laughs> I was just exhausted. My first guest tonight is the most talented actor in the world. He will star in Red, opening at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles on August the 1st. Please welcome the splendid Alfred Molina, everybody. Alfred Molina. It's lovely to see you, Alfred, it's the strange. greatest actor in the world. I know, I know. That's another, that's another $50 well spent, I think. <laughs> hey, uh, happy birthday, it's your birthday. Yes, it's my birthday. It's, it's his yeah. birthday, everyone. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. I would, I would sing happy birthday to you, but you can't sing that song. It's very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, I, 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 I never realised that. I thought it was one of those things that you could just sing any no, other time. No, no, it's a very expensive song. If, you, if we were to sing that, it would cost... Ooh, dad. Hundred thousand dollars. Oh well, I'll, I'll sing it quietly to myself. No, in my don't, because then no, because lawyers will watch the show and go, "There, that's where he sang it to himself <laughs> in his head." What if he just mouth it? No, don't can't even do that. No, 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 we can't mouth it. Don't things. even go. Well, you could probably do that. You could. No, you have to make up a different one. You have to kind of do that one of those lame. I it's just your did it. Birthday, I just did it. Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> may, oh, I, may, I ask, may I ask? Is it is it a is it a big one or a small? It's one? not. No, it's not a big one. It's not a big one. Right. Um. Um. But um, it might be bigger a bit later on. <laughs> we still talking about your birthday? Or? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Talking about you know the size of the event. It oh. might get bigger later. I mean, at the moment, it's just two of us. Right. So it might, there may be more. You know. Well, I don't know if you're enjoying your birthday, but I am. <laughs> I, I. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. <laughs> hey, no, uh, no. The, the, the play you're doing at the Mark Taper Forum, it's about uh, Rothko. It's about it? Mark Rothko, the, yeah. uh, the, the painter. Yeah, I didn't um, care for his painting. No, you didn't? No, no, didn't. no Is that didn't. why you didn't come to see it when we did it no, on Broadway? No, I, no, that wasn't the reason. <laughs> I, I, I fell. But the... Uh, <laughs> No, I didn't care for Rothko's oh, opinion, right. which well, I, I'm alone in. Everybody else loves it. Well, I don't think that will spoil your enjoyment of the play, should you deign to come and no, see I, it. No, I'd love to come see it. I'll come, I'll come, see, come see it. it. Uh, when, yeah. When's it on? We're up, we open August 1st at the Mark Taper Forum. Ah. Here in Los Angeles. Ah. The City of Angels. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, out of town August 1st. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. How long are you running for? Uh, for as long as it takes for you to get back. <laughs> No, of course I'll come see it. Of course I'll come see it, but I am out of town August. I mean, have, you, have you ever been stuck in that situation where someone wants you to come and see what they're doing and you, and you, 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 keep, you start running out of excuses for not... You know, I wish I could be there, but, you know, my baby's not well. Well, we'll wait till... You, till, till well, yeah, we'll wait until your baby gets better. Oh, well, then, yeah, but then I've got, um, you know, the, the house, getting the house fixed and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, you know. You know what I hate? When you do a show and then people come back afterwards and say, 
How did you enjoy it? <laughs> uh, then you go, oh, man. Are you a big fan of the uh, modern artist, the 20th century? What, is he a 20th century yeah, master? Yeah, he was a 20th, he was a 20th century painter, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I am. I mean, there's some things, yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much. I mean, I, I can't, I mean, I enjoy a lot of art, but I mean, it's, uh, there's some stuff that you kind of go, yeah. But well, he was one of the, he, Mark Rothko is one of the guys that people really did say, oh, my kid could do that. Yeah, yeah, well, know, I, it was, well yeah. I, I think with Rothko, he's one of the guys where you say, my dog could do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's abstract. I don't know why I'm suddenly feeling really defensive yeah, about Yeah, no, no, it's all right. <laughs> it's like, no, it, he's a controversial figure in He the was art, a controversial really. figure, yeah, I mean, yeah, I love, he was. I mean, the, he was. Uh, when Dennis Hopper, God rest him, was here, he said, and I told him I didn't like Rothko, and he owned a Rothko, I think, and he, and he said, I, I, I understand, but he's very important. Well, he was. Yes, yeah. he was important. But you're right. The, I mean, he, he's, one of those, he's one of those artists that people are never kind of, you know, on the fence about him. Right. He, people either love him or really, really find him like a complete... F I mean, uh, we, we, had, uh, we had people coming backstage when we were doing it in New York where people would say things like, good play, but the guy was a fraud. <laughs> a total fraud. And they would be no, angry, you know, well, and you angry say, well, about well, it. I, I was acting, it's not fraudulent. Well, well, exactly. I was actually pretending to be. <laughs> exactly, yeah. No, talking about, they were talking about his act. Oh, his I see, they weren't talking about yeah, you saying, being saying, a fraud, you're no, not no, actually no, no, Mark no, Rothko. No. Yeah. Saying, so, you know, they, they enjoyed the play, but they thought the art was, right. was just completely fraudulent. Well, what kind of art do you like? Do you like uh, 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 landscapes? Do you like nudes? Come on, everybody yeah, likes everyone a nude. likes a nude. Yeah. Well, what's not to like? Yes, I like nudes. I like a nude on a landscape. That's what I like. Nude on a landscape. With a couple of flowers. Fluffy bunnies oh, on one yeah, side yeah, there. Yeah. Fluffy know, bunnies, and fluffy then something bunnies. gambling across the yeah, field. Like, like a waggy taily dog. Ooh, a waggy taily dog, yeah. You know, something like Spendid. that. You know. Yeah, waggy taily dog, naked lady. Fluffy bunnies up here. Or gentlemen. Or gentlemen. Doesn't matter. Uh, doesn't uh, matter. It, well, it depends what you're doing. Equal opportunity nudes <coughs> yeah. all across the landscape. Yeah, uh, I like a bit of nudity. Yeah. 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 But not as much as you would think. You know when people say. <laughs> I've. You know, for a split second there, I thought this was going to be like a serious conversation. Yeah, well, it is. <laughs> it is in a way because, you know, like nudity, I think, is it's better if you kind of just like, you know, leave a bit, not to the, to the imagination. Well, not so much to the say. imagination, it's more kind of leave the... To the censor. <laughs> No, <laughs> like if you're na like if I'm naked, there's parts of me that look all right, and other parts of me that don't look so great. We'll so be it, the judge of that. Well, no. I, <laughs> all I'm saying is, if I kind of drape things over certain areas, and oh, then, yeah. you know, and leave, you know, the fog clears around Penis Island, then I think that's fine. Right. Right. Yeah, you could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T tasteful nudity. Tasteful yeah, nudity. Something yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you ever been to a strip club? I have. Yes. Did you perform? No, I didn't perform. Right. I got. I got. <laughs> No, I, 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 I was, I was stopped. Luckily, I almost did. I wanted. No, I, I did go to a strip club once when I was, I was in my late teens. Oh. And it was, uh, it was that, and it was a terribly kind of risque, dangerous thing to do. And you got to remember, strip clubs in London. Yeah, yeah. Aren't like. I'm taking my cardigan off uh, yeah. now. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, right. Hold me pint. Yeah, yeah, hold me. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just put me pint down. All right. <laughs> it was not the kind of showgirl Las Vegas type thing at all. No, it was, no, it was. No. It was really unbelievably sleazy, and yeah. I and I. <laughs> And I, and, I remember, and I remember kind of getting outrageously sort of overpriced drinks and... In Soho, oh, in London, oh, they used to, that, that's where it was, first, in Soho. Yeah, the first time I ever went to London from Scotland, I thought, ooh, I'll go into a strip club and see a naked lady. And I went in, and this guy came over and he went, oh, yeah, you buying a girl a drink? And I went, uh, yeah, OK. Uh, he said, she wants a bottle of champagne. <laughs> I went, all right. And he said... That's 200 quid. <laughs> I went, I've only got 50 quid. He went, that's 50 quid, get out. <laughs> I never even saw a naked lady, oh, didn't meet the girl. I don't think there was any girls there, it was just that guy. Yeah. <laughs> they were total, total rip-off joints. They're terrible, terrible. It's not like that now, though, of course. No, now it's kind of, you know, three, three, you know, three course dinners and yeah. uh, well, you ballet can't, parking. You can't eat at a strip club. Well, you can. No, 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 it because doesn't... that means you've given up on both food and sex. <laughs> 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 You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um. right. Have you tried the shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Anyway, you know, I, I couldn't go now. But are there, are there old fashioned strip clubs like they used to be? I mean, I mean it's all like, it's all like lap dancing and 
poles and stuff now. Well, I, I mean, I'm sure you can still go to places where people take their clothes off. Or, uh, well, I'll, I'll do it if you give me a couple. Of, uh, <laughs> what do you, I'll buy you a very expensive bottle of yeah, champagne. I, I would like a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we have to uh, take a break. Do we? Well, we don't have to, but it's the whole capitalism, okay. commercials. Uh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. understand. Now, you and I can continue to talk, but, you know, it, the, the network survives on these things. Absolutely. And yes. as you know, uh, CBS is uh, almost broke. <laughs> 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 They've got a lot of money. Yeah, they, they do. They, they don't leave it here, obviously, but they... Uh... <laughs> Are you incredibly wealthy? Um, no. No. <laughs> but I, I hope to be one day. Seems fair. I live in hope. Do you want to uh, do the commercial thing? Sure. What are we advertising? <laughs> <coughs> or just announce the break? Yeah, well, well you could just say, uh, here's a bunch of excellent products. Here's a bunch of excellent products for your selection and consideration. <laughs> I got my first AARP letter when I was 48. Oh, that doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing going on here. <laughs> That's a, a cross between the little rascals and the Jedi mind trick right there. <laughs> These are not the droids you're looking for. <laughs> you a big Star Wars fan? I used to be. I enjoyed the first two. I know what you're and saying. I, I didn't sort of like keep up with it. I, 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 I kind of felt like I'd got too old for it somehow. I know. What I, you I don't mean, mean that. I don't mean that in a disparaging way. But I just sort of didn't quite have the same sense of. I mean, the first. I, mean, I remember the first Star was what 1977. Mm, something like that. Yeah. yeah and I, I thought it was. I thought it was the greatest thing I'd ever seen. I mean, I thought it was, good, just like, yeah. it was like cutting edge. It was just. Brilliant. And then after that, then there was that huge long gap in between movies. And I sort of like ended up. Not you know. You went to a strip club in I London. I went to strip instead. clubs. Yeah. <laughs> And it scarred me for scarred life. Scarred you for life. You didn't want to do it anymore after that. You enjoy the science fiction, or do I do. You? Yeah, a little bit of science. Yeah, I enjoy a little bit. Of, I like. I like the, all, this, all the doomy stuff. I like all, all those movies that always take place in New York. Yes. And it's always like the end of the world. I like the. You know? I like the steampunk that they're doing. You know the steampunk type. Uh, no, this is new to me. Well, steampunk. But I'm an old fart. So. Well, you know, it's 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 this. I'm, I don't know if I'm quite getting it right. And I'm sure there's a lot. Steampunk. Of, steampunk. Yeah, it's kind of like. Um, it's an, is that edible? <laughs> Yeah, steampunk. It's, so a, kind of, it's, it's a, a kind of fish and you steam it and uh, <laughs> tastes a little bit like it's chicken. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> First time I tried it was in a strip club, actually. <laughs> yeah. Have you tried the steampunk? Yeah. <laughs> How much does it cost? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do like now, that. What, what well, is steampunk? Uh, it's kind of uh, it's a, an alternate reality. Uh, it's like if, if the world exists but flying had not been invented or something like that. Oh, I so see. It, yeah. it kind of goes in that direction. It's very... Or if there's a giant robot but it's the time of the Wild West. I think that's the, the, the type Got of... Uh, I, I think... I, mean, I could be wrong. Got it. That sounds uh, good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd buy that. Yeah. I'd go and see one of those. Yeah. A bit like the uh, Sherlock Holmes movies, the new Sherlock Holmes. Yes, the new Sherlock Holmes movies have a bit of the steampunk, yeah, I think, absolutely. about them, yeah. That, uh, that Robert Downey Jr., he's good, isn't he? Clever chap. Yeah, very clever. <laughs> have you ever had him on your show? Oh, you have, he's, you he's, have. Because he made that great crack about, uh, about looking... He, he came on with a big moustache. Oh, he did, yeah. Uh, he said he looked like, a, he looked like a, one of the Mario brothers. Right, yeah, he did as well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you grow a moustache from time to time. I do, I'm growing one right now, as right. we speak. Is it for a, it's, for a... It's for a role. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but it's not coming through. And, and also, I'm totally grey now. My beard is totally grey. So when I, when I grow my beard, yeah. it really does look as if I'm dyeing my hair. <laughs> but your hair is not dyed. No, my hair isn't dyed. But, but, it's but like, your beard, that's yeah, weird. What about weird. downstairs? Uh, grey, uh, normal colour, no, or what? They, uh... <laughs> Blonde hair, black moustache, great brown bushy beard. Ginger down, Ginger yeah. down below, yeah. good <laughs> lord. I thought I was I, I, I thought I was going to take that secret to the grave, but no. uh... good lord! Well, you know that's uh, that's a, a, a nude that I'd quite like to see. Actually, <laughs> hey, like... we're, we're, we're out of time here. Do you want a you want a mouth organ, an awkward pause, or a big cash prize? Well, the, this this is new. This is a new innovation. I'd like to try the big cash prize. Well, it's something we put in. I, th I think you'll enjoy it. It's uh... I've got a taxi waiting outside. I might need some cash. <laughs> a taxi in LA? Yeah. 
expensive. Did you get a DUI? <laughs> no, but I caught something off the bag, see? So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Well, just take your car to get yes, off. All right. right. Fine. What time is it, Shadow <laughs> Demon? Time for the big Fifty American dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign in it, just like the burglars use. Here's how, how you can win. You can either uh, answer a question, or you can guess what's in my box. Uh, what, how that works is I imagine a box in my head, and uh, I don't know what's in it, only Jeff knows what's in it. And you try and guess what it is. If you're right, Jeff will tell us, and if you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. I mean, even worse than being on this show. I'm going to try and guess what's in, in my, your box. In my box? <laughs> oh, John, then I'll just take my card again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold me pint. Yeah, hold me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, I'm imagining a box. Jeff, do you have the box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, what is in my box? It's only an hour-long show. I know. Uh, <laughs> something to do with an island. <laughs> Can um, he be more specific? <laughs> um, uh, begins with a P, maybe? A per, 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 per. <laughs> Penis island? <laughs> Jeff, is he correct? It is, in fact, a waggy, taily dog on Penis Island. <laughs> It's completely new, Alfred. Everything's it's changed. You haven't been here since the new studio. It's Everything's... totally new. Big audience. Yeah, well... Better looking, too. Better looking audience. You should have been here last night. They were hideous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look good. I like with the sweater vest thing. Well, That's nice. it's because I'm really old now. Old and, you know... I, 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 it's a wonder I didn't come in my slippers. <laughs> Little pipe, you know. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I don't think... I think this is a good look. Well, I thank you very much. Yeah, you look like a, a bear. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be in a little menagerie one day. I'll no, be no, no, not an actual bear. It's a bear. It's, you know, it's a person in the gay community who's big and attractive and manly. <laughs> no, you didn't know that. I did know that. Yes, oh, you did. But I was trying to avoid it. Why? <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> is that new glasses too? New glasses. This is another development. You've I'm had a makeover. You no, just like you... The, the, everyone thinks they're an affect. I can't see a bloody thing anymore. Really? Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. It happened like that. I couldn't believe it. Really? I woke up one morning and I thought, why is it? Why is there fog in my bedroom? <laughs> I couldn't see a bloody thing. Like, if, like take your glasses well, off. Well, I mean, I can see you. All right, then. Everything else is a little All bit right. kind of blurry. Can you see that? I can see that, but I don't quite know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's just a wave. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah, no, it's that. How have you been otherwise? I haven't I've been very well. I've been very well. I've been doing this series. Uh, Monday oh, yes, morning. Monday morning. Monday morning. What's it about TNT. then? Is it about... It's, it's about... It's a medical show, but it's got this <laughs> added thing where it's really based around what they call the M&M meetings, the morbidity and mortality meetings, where the comedy, doctors... Then? It's a kind of comedy. Yeah. yeah. It's, a lot, lot of, it's, it's where the doctors have to be... Uh, are accountable for any mistakes and choices they made in the previous week. So you've got the, all, you've got the usual kind of medical show show, but there's also a kind of like a courtroom drama element to it as well. Right, and, and when... It's the, fabulous. Yeah, there you <laughs> when the When does the, uh, the jokes then? What happens? The jokes, the jokes start... Uh, well, the jokes started when they cast me, really. Oh, yeah, really come about, on. Uh, Do you, it, are, are you American again in this? No, I'm, I'm British. Oh, you, you play... And it wasn't my idea. Oh. It was David Kelly's idea, which is, you know... David but Kelly? But it made me laugh, because he phoned me up and he said, I think we might make the char character British. And I went, OK. And he went... One less thing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> but I was cool. I didn't say anything. Well, yeah. your American accent's pretty good. It was it? okay. But I, I well, you were you know, Dr. Octopus. I thought I you were was, American. I was. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah. No. <laughs> but, 
Now, what's the thing you're not allowed to say? Doc, octopus. Doctopus, I don't know, is it? I don't know. Yeah, there's something you're not allowed to say, like, you know, uh, Spider-Man fans get very upset if you say Doctopus or uh, Doctor... -pus. I don't know, Doctor... <laughs> There's one Doct of them you're not allowed to say. Octopus. Octopus, Dr. Octopus. Or I, I, well, I think at the time, uh, people used to say, uh, people used to say, Doc Ock. Doc Ock. Yeah, and everyone kind of went, no, that, does, that sounds ugly, sounds ugly. But that's, 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 that's what, that became very Well, I, you don't want a character with eight legs who's trying to kill all the good people in the movie ugly in any way, do you? I mean, no, you know, he's he was nice. ugly. He was he's, a terrifying he, villain. He's got to be nice and attractive and thoughtful. And uh... See, I, <laughs> I like villains that are nice and attractive. Yeah, well, all the best ones are. Yes. All the best ones are. They Hannibal Lecter, he's always attractive. He was attractive. He was seductive. You yeah, know, yeah. yeah, yeah. All, the, all, the, all the best villains are the ones that kind of, in a way, seduce you in some way or another. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using the word in its wider context. Yeah, I like it though. It's, <laughs> it is, have you ever done that on the stage? What, playing villains? Yeah, like a smooth, villains. A smooth villain. Once or on twice, once yeah. or twice. In what? What would I know? Uh, nothing you would have known. Oh, well, come on, try me. Because you were over here. Right. And I was over there doing it in, to in ten Britain. people in a garage. No, come on. You do the big theatres in Britain, <laughs> yeah, don't you? The yeah. National yeah. Theatre and all the that stuff? The National Theatre, yeah. 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 But it's, uh, you know, it's, it's fun. Villains that have got a kind of... A kind of attraction. I mean, all the best villains are attractive. Hey, you know what they did? You know the, the great Shakespearean villain, uh, Richard III? Didn't yeah, they? They, found, they found his skeleton. Under a car park. Under a car park. Unbelievable. It was his actual skeleton of Richard III, and he didn't have a hump. No. Didn't but, have but, a hump. But he did have slight... A penis? A penis. Yes, of course, yeah. He had a penis. Yeah. But he did have slight curvature of the spine, apparently. Did he really? Yeah, yeah. So, he, so there's a little element of truth in it. And they did this mock-up of his face. Yeah. And he looked... Just pretty like ordinary, a, yeah. Just like I know. A dude, really. I, know. Yeah. I, I kept thinking, who's gonna? I, I, I saw that. I saw that uh, that computerized image of his face, and I suddenly kept starting thinking, I wonder who's gonna play him. And I looked at it. I thought, it's Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon would be Matt an Damon's excellent Shakespearean villain. Matt, Matt Damon is gonna play Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? In the movie? Why not? But isn't it sad when they find you under a bleeding car park? It's kind of well, you know, you know, he shouldn't have done that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That yes, thing, so. yes, totally. It, it, it's a gangster's ending. Isn't well, it? it's kind totally. of a little bit. Totally. Yeah. Oh, totally. I don't know. When were you back then? Uh, the in Britain? Oh, the last time I was there was around about this time. Yeah, this time last year I did a uh, movie for the BBC. BBC. Yeah, that's where the money is. That's all. <laughs> 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 that, that's what they think. Oh yes. man. <laughs> yeah, they're worse than CBS. Those <laughs> bastards, I tell you. The BBC, you're working for the BBC. Well, uh, how much can you afford to pay? Us? Uh, <laughs> exactly. They're really yes. like that. It right? won't be much, Alfred, but there'll be some marvellous kudos for you. Yeah, there'll be kudos <laughs> for you, and there'll be great snacks and tea. There'll Lots be of uh, plenty of yeah. tea yeah. throughout the production. <laughs> tea will be running oh, hot. There's no, there's no craft service over there. I mean, the, 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 you know, the, whatever, whatever the snacks are is whatever that was on sale at Costco that morning. Really. <laughs> You know, so it's like all the peanuts you could eat, or all the you know, all the red vines you can eat. Oh, I like it. red vines. You me like too. Red? Oh, me like too. Make, they make you poop, though. They make you poop. Yeah, too many red vines <laughs> right through. <laughs> like, pate, noise. like pate through a goose. <laughs> <laughs> Do that noise again. <laughs> <laughs> you want to work that into your medical drama? <laughs> yes. What's the prognosis, doctor? Oh, I think it's a <laughs> right yeah. He's, he's done. <laughs> Do you like it here, then? I do actually. Yeah, I do yeah, like, I it, like yeah. it. I, I, I like okay. it. I mean, you know, it's it's. Uh, I always think, you know, it's been it's been wonderful. We've been here for twenty years now, Good and grief. it's been really fantastic. And, I, and I'm I'm very. You've lost uh, your accent. You sound very totally, yeah, totally, you totally lost my accent. But it, yeah, it's been wonderful. We love but it. People say that to you when you go home. Well. Every time I go back home, someone always says, oh, you sound so American, but I don't think I sound American no, I, at all. I get that when I go home as well. I say, oh, you sound American. You look at you with your eye, your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's not fair. And it's then the thing. somebody said to me, oh, you're <laughs> Scottish when it suits you. And I went, what does that mean? Uh. You know what it means. <laughs> it means. It means I shut it. Hate you, it <laughs> but I have noticed, though, that I've, I've become a bit more... It, I, I, since I've been here, I've, the little the little things that sort of de seem to define the English over here have become a bit more, in, you know, like I, I get a bit making tea has become a bit of a fetish. Really? Yeah. Where, whereas when I was at home, what I'd do you wear when you make tea? <laughs> 
a French maid's uniform. Yeah, that, that, that would be considered a fetish, yeah. Yes, and a big feather boa. Mm -hmm. No, but, you know, in England, I never... I, I'd, throw, I'd throw a tea bag in a mug, pour some hot water on it, and that'd be it. That'd be it. Mm. But here I'm kind of going, oh, no, no, warm the pot. Warm the pot. Oh, no, no, milk goes in first. You know, I suddenly become, like, really sort of... Uh, I, I think I'm Crikey. David Niven. Excuse <laughs> me. I'm sorry. Well, you, I know you can't cuss on well, this Well, no, 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 I think will happen, won't it? No, they'll pixelate your mouth. You want to grow your beard a bit longer, then. <laughs> <laughs> then you can say Crikey. all day long on TV. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Alvaro Molina, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, that's my kids over there. Yeah, I put them, I put them there uh, to remind me some nights, you know, I should look at them and just go, oh, yeah, that's why I do this. No, oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, what age are yours now? Oh, my goodness, my daughter's 32. <laughs> so, out of diapers then? Yeah, really? yeah. yeah. Uh, only just. Yeah, my two stepsons are in their 40s. My grandkids are now, like, nine and six. Wow. So it's, you know, yeah, time flies. You went early, man. Well, now my daughter went early. Oh, uh, well, there is that. <laughs> hey, um, did you get your tattoo yet? No, no, you're right. I, went to, no, I, yeah. I, I bottled out. I lost my nerve. I have five, I lost, Have you really? Five. Oh, see, I, I, I actually did go as far. I think the last time I was here, we talked about it. And I did actually go as far as going past the tattoo store. This, you know, this little, the parlor. Right. And it was kind of... Around about 11.30 at night. Nice time for it. Kind yeah. of. And, it was, and there were a few people in there. Mm -hmm. and, and there was a guy, he, he had his, he was like lying back a bit like this. And he had his arm on a sort of, like on a thing, resting yeah. his arm. And the, and the tattoo artist was working on it. And as I, as I was looking through the window, the guy doing the tattooing just did this. He, he just sort of went. <laughs> and gave me this real look like, who the... What the hell? You know, and I, and I just went, and, I, and I'm outside, and I actually went, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and carried on walking. And as I was walking away, I suddenly thought, I, I, what am I, who am I kidding? Well, no, I, I, there's no way I'm going to get a tattoo. Yes, you will. Once you get your first tattoo, <laughs> when the guy looks up at you and looks at you like that, you look back at him and you go, sup? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, check yeah, it yeah. out. Yeah. No, I think it's time. But to maybe, I think it's time. Maybe, I think, it maybe. I think you needed the, the fox hunt scenario on your back. <laughs> <laughs> like you're a giant fox hunt and the fox's tail disappearing in your butt crack. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a big one for your first uh, one. Maybe just, you know, your I wife's to, name or yeah, something. First. I, I said to my wife, because when, when we first talked about it, I said to Jill, I think I might get a tattoo. Yeah, she went... Well, what are you going to have on your tent? And, and I said, well, I want to do something, something. And then I suddenly thought about song titles that I really liked. Oh, OK. And one of the song titles that I've always thought was really, really cool was Elvis Costello's song, What's So Funny About Peace, Love and Understanding. That's a lot of words. It is. Yeah. And I thought, I'll have that as a tattoo. It's What's a tattoo. so funny about peace, love and... I thought, that's a nice message. Yes. It's something I certainly approve of. Right. And then <laughs> I'm explaining it to Jill, and there's this long pause, and she goes... You pretentious bastard. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well. And I went... Yeah. Like, you know. Did you do it? Or did you go... I got, <laughs> no, the idea went... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out of time. You want a coconut? Yeah, why not? All right, there you are. You can take it home. You don't want to open oh, it here. It gets you. everywhere. No, I don't want to open it here. Ooh, yeah. nice and weighty. Yeah, you want two? Plenty of water. <laughs> you know, I'll take two. Yeah, yeah, yeah well. <laughs> Oh, we well, enjoy that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Happy Molina, everybody! I just need a few seconds. A, a terrific actor, and really a very, very good, very, like very, very good actor. He's the best. He's, He's the, the best. best. He's the best actor <laughs> in the in the world. In the world, he is the best actor in the world. No, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best actor in the world. <laughs> he stars in Matador, which premieres July the 15th on the El Rey Network. Uh, take a look at this. Well, let's see what I tell you. <laughs> Alfred Molina, everybody. <laughs> Let's 
pleasure to see you, it's so Mr. Nice, nice I to see you. I haven't seen too. you in such a long time. A couple of years. You're kidding, is yeah, that long? Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah. Good well, you look well. Yeah. I thought maybe I'd said something. <laughs> or not. Not on this show. <laughs> I think you're right. I like your, your suit looks very thank nice. You, thank it's very you. Very dis 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 distinguished. Well, I like to dress up for your show because I think you deserve it. Well, thanks very much indeed. I, I re and I really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, I came I, I came on once with a sh with a, I came on once with a short sleeve shirt and a kind of like a woolly vest thing, and you su you took the crack out of me. So oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's, that's not going to happen again. Well, no. And well, I'm glad to see you've <laughs> you've dressed appropriately tonight, and I. And I hope the court appearance goes well, yeah, too, yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, this is actually my, this is actually my probation suit. Well, it's, it's very good. I, you, you look well. Have you been doing a lot of uh, keep fit or something? No, no, I've lost a little bit of weight. And I saw that clip and I, th I thought, <laughs> big chubby cheeks. Well, no. no. Yeah, you know, I've, I've been trying to lose, you know, I'm, I'm sort of, you know, I'm 61 now. I've got to try. Stop it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, got, I want to stay, I want to be, I want to be alive for, you know, I want to dance at my grandkids' weddings, you know what I mean? So right. Do you do you dance a lot? No, I dance terribly. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's every grandfather's duty to really embarrass their grand. Well, yes. I, it, it, uh, well, first of all, as a parent and then a grandparent, you really want to kind of. <laughs> yeah, I want to I be like, come on, girl, come on, let's get out, come on, dance. Yeah. Me, and also, what I'm looking forward to in my dotage is being really filthy, and then people go, oh, that's adorable. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> like, smell my finger. <laughs> Like, oh, granddad. Yeah. Oh. I used to do that in my 20s, though. Yeah, you know, I did too. <laughs> yeah, I know. You did it to me. I see where it goes. So, um, I, I like this. Uh, now, this show, Matador, it's about uh, bull, bull fighting. No, it's no, no, it's nothing to do with bull fighting. Nothing to do with bull fighting. It's, uh, hiya. I love it. Yeah, hey, baby. I like the, it's, um. I didn't know you knew each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we go back a long way. But both ends? Both ends. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an equal opportunity. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, no, it was, um, it, it's about, it centres around a, a young soccer star who's playing for a, an, an, a team in LA, the LA Riot, and he's also a kind of agent for a government department. Oh, wait, I, it's one of those two-job TV right, shows. Right, right. Oh, yeah. And it's I play, like he's a that, but yeah. he's also a that. Yes. yes. I play the owner of the team, and All I'm, right. also, I'm also and the, uh, you, a nefarious who, bad guy. Uh, you, you, I can tell you're a bad guy, because oh, yeah. you said Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right, yeah, my character's, uh, you know, from Mexico. Oh, well, that's, have you ever been there? I have. I've been there several times. <laughs> I've been there several times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tijuana. I've never, I've never been to Japan. No, oh, I've been. Oh, I love Japan. I just I went know. recently. I know. Oh, I liked yeah. it very much. Not that I didn't like Mexico. Mexico was lovely too. It's just a completely different experience. Completely, yeah. completely different. Yeah, yeah. I, but nothing know. funny happens in Mexico after one o'clock in the morning, unless you're in Tijuana. <laughs> Depends on what you do. You know, <laughs> define funny. Uh, <laughs> it's also if you survive certain things, then yeah, they can be yeah. funny later on. Well, yeah. I, 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 went to, I went to shoot a movie there, and I remember being told, "Don't eat the food from the street vendors." And I did nothing but eat the food from the street vendors. I never got sick. It was wonderful. Really? What kind of food did you eat there? You no know, tacos, and you know, sort yeah, of. Yeah, I've done that in Tijuana well. as well. It's yeah, fine. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, I was I, in Mexico City, which was really amazing. I've never been there. I quite yeah. fancy that. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. What were we doing there? Another film? Doing a movie, yeah. See, that's yeah. the life of an actor. You see, you get to see the world but from, you know, film things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, from inside your trailer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there is that. I mean, but don't you try and get out and get to oh, see yeah, part yeah. of it? I'm, I'm quite, I, th I, I like to think of myself as reasonably adventurous, I and mean, I'll go out and I've heard you things. are, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's, uh, I, I loved it, I loved it. I mean, I, I, I haven't, I don't travel so much now anymore, but it, it was, uh, I used to, I used to love going on location. Now, where, uh, Molina, where are your... Uh... Spanish father, mm -hmm. Italian mother. Right. Born in England, raised in England, now a citizen of the United States. So that's, uh, you're pretty much an American then, really. Pretty yeah, yeah. <laughs> Been here 20 years, so, yeah, I think of myself as uh, American. So who do you, uh, are you watching the World Cup? Soccer? I'm torn, you can imagine. I love the World Cup, I'm a big soccer fan. I love it, but I, I'm, I'm sort of torn. I, I, I watch all my options dwindling away. Yeah, well, <laughs> Spain. Spain went no, first, then and England. England. Uh, you know, the USA, I don't, know if they're, I don't know if they're still in or not. I think they might still be. I think most people in America don't know if they're in or not, yeah. <laughs> So it's, uh, you know, but it's... I like uh, watching people in L.A. pretending to know about soccer. <laughs> I, 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 I really liked it when that guy uh, kicked the thing. <laughs>
That was really intense. Yeah. Yeah. But, but they get, I, I've noticed a lot of my American friends get very frustrated when they see like a nil-nil score. Well, that's you know, it's they, they, they think, what's the point? What's the point of a game where there's no score? You think, well, yeah, but the, the game itself, there's a beauty in the game, there's, there's elegance, there's skill. You know. Yeah, no, nah, none of that, man. <laughs> nah. No, what they, they're going to have to do is introduce some kind of t-shirt cannon. Uh, <laughs> or, or when, when one side gets the ball, they have to go, dun, 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 charge! Dun, dun, dun. And then it'll work, that's and then Americans will be like, OK, yeah. that's a game. Yeah. Yeah. But have you noticed? But it's, it's starting to happen already, because when a goal is scored, yeah. the, time, the, the, the length of time that they take to celebrate that goal is getting longer. Yeah, longer. it's getting a longer. But, you know, when, when, I, when I was a kid, it was like, you know, the play would score, spit, and then run back and start. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Well, now like, scratch yeah. the nuts and then off you go, yeah. <laughs> now it's like they're running around, they're doing dance moves, they're, you know... Yeah, that'll stop, though, because that, 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 that was in the NFL and they made them stop doing it. Did they? Oh, yeah, Why? the NFL, Why? there used Why? to be, like, a touchdown and then it was, like, moonwalking. Why did they stop and, it? Uh, I don't know, I think it was getting... Uh, what was the problem with it? Uh, Taking too long? Yeah, I think it... No, it's not that. I mean, American football, we got all day, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is it, do you do you watch the yeah, NFL? I'm, I'm, no, not NFL. No, I, American football. I, I can't get into it. It's, I, I don't. I don't understand how the game works. I can't understand baseball either. <laughs> oh, don't pity me. Don't pity. Me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a complicated game. But no, that guy hits it. These people run around. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, but I've been to a few sporting events, which I, lo I, mean, I love. I love the uh, I love the event. I love the you know the, the baseball for me is the one that I think doesn't translate well to TV. I think it's better to uh, to go there. But the football, I like watching football. And the thing I haven't done, which I'd love to do, is go and see a live basketball match game. Well, you I'd could, like to do that. Yeah, you have uh, the opportunity to do that in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yeah, yeah. 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 But I we don't know to, who to support. Um, well, I would go with uh, whoever's winning. Uh, <laughs> that'll make you a true Los Angelino. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whoever's, whoever's when, winning. I, when I first came to live in LA, the Clippers were regarded as this kind of terrible team. That's right, I remember that. But now they're doing well, right? They're doing quite well? Yes. Uh, Apart from certain the whole, area, yeah, yeah, not other areas. <laughs> it's, uh, and the Lakers... Mm. But, are they, uh, not, not but good. they'll, you know, it'll all... <laughs> Hakuna Matata, the circle of life, however yeah. it is. We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Alfred Moyer. <laughs> See. Oh, we're back. We're back. So we were just uh, talking about stuff, you know, things yeah. and that. Yeah, it was quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, better knock that in the head yeah, right away. Yeah, yeah. Can't, have, can't have any of that. Yeah, yeah. Have you been back to the old country recently? No, yes, yes. Oh, I, really? Yes, I went back. Uh, I went back in uh, in February, uh, end of February, beginning of March. Yeah, uh, what'd you do there then? Just spent some time with my grandkids and. You, you have know. grandchildren, really? I do. Yeah, I've got uh, Alfie's ten and uh, <laughs> Layla's eight. He's going to be 11 this year. He's going to be 8 and then 11? No, no, no. Le <laughs> Alfie's going to be 11. Layla, my granddaughter, is, is Oh, right, OK. Well, that, that's... Uh, I mean, you must, you must moisturise or something, because you look very well. <laughs> really? no, all that, you know, all that stuff our parents told us about pills and liquor? Yeah. It's not true. They really work. <laughs> CBS Co. <laughs> <laughs> the views expressed by Alfred Molina in no way reflect the CBS Corporation <laughs> or in any of its affiliates, for legal reasons, of course. Anyway, we're, uh, we're out of time. Are we? Really? So yeah, soon. yeah, yeah, that's it, I guess, yeah. Fancy an awkward pause? Why not? All right. Fred Molina's? He's he, awesome. He comes back on the show. Does he? Yeah, I don't think he has an Oscar, though. No. <laughs> but he's good, though. He is awfully good. He is very good. Yeah, I nearly made out with him once. <laughs> really? In a sketch, yeah. 
Did you? He was playing Sherlock Holmes and I was playing Angela Lansbury. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, have oh. you got that guy's line? I'd love to yeah, see that. It. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's uh, he comes in and he's playing all Sherlock Holmes, and I was playing Angela Lansbury, who, you know, for the purposes of what we do here, bears a striking resemblance to Sir Paul McCartney. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of had to be there, right, is yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I nearly made out with him. Our lips were like this close. Oh, isn't he lovely? Yes, yeah. But when he gets that close, then I started to think, oh, maybe not that lovely. He's awfully tall. Very tall, Very tall and, uh, and large. His lovely minty breath, though. Yes. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't notice that. No, he was playing your dad, for God's mm, sake. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He's a hugger, though. He gives. He is a hugger. Yeah, he's, he's friend, hugger. friendly, friendly, a little too friendly. <laughs> With me, yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're out of time.